All right, we don't really need an intro screen, do we? I'm here, I'm ready to go. My hair is brushed and combed. I realized how nasty it was looking when I uh, started, hit that go live button. Yeah, Wendigo is stalking my, my Steam account, and as soon as I launch the game, he jumps in chats and is just like, yo, oh dude, I gotta change this freaking this screen. Uh, <laughs> this needs to be edited so badly. Who is letting me keep that, that black box in the background? All right, hold on. Let me write this down. Okay. Okay, I got that. Uh, this, this, this is, it all needs so much work. The monthly leader needs work. Look how squished it looks. Oh gosh. Everything about this scene looks awful. Uh, anyway, welcome back, guys. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire this afternoon. Uh, because it's quite enjoyable. And I'm liking it. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, yeah. So, Dinsky. The background does look nice, but, th but the bar needs to be, like, redone. Probably just getting rid of, uh, honestly. Uh, it, it, it tried it. and I don't really like the touch to it. It, it works for me. Um, Dinsky, when are you playing Pillars 1? Tonight? Tonight? Tomorrow? This weekend win 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 these are the questions i have anywho uh we are going to well we need to like maybe look at some of these vendors um and see about getting some sugar and stuff like that and we're doing shoddy's quest to uh to worship at the altar maybe is that what's going on here uh which one's this? This is the Mogren Temple. Temple of Gone. We need to go to the Temple of Gone. But like to begin with, let's go up to this merchant and see what they have for sale. More dwarfs tonight and tomorrow. Nice. I can't believe Surprise, you killed me. Though, like, I, I'm still a little, little upset about that. Certainly. Not that upset. So this guy's ten deflection against disengagement. While well, bloodied or near death, the magnificent escape cape may be used to dash to safety, breaking engagement, actually avoiding the next attack. Okay, this guy just has traps and stuff. Had to be done. I think you're lying. But alright, if you say so. Who's this dude? Mark Vanderbige. Oh wait, there's a forsaken cat over here we never grabbed? Posse. All right, what did we just pick up? Battered dog figurine. Hold on, what's this? Um, we got a lot of shit we haven't even seen. 
This is uses eight. Summon a Gravehound. Okay. Posse. One to all fire keyword power levels. Five reflex for party. Hmm. That's actually uh, a nice little pet. Got a flail, a poleaxe, some fine armor. We'll have to go through our armor stuff later. But I don't think we've seen this dude before. You find a man of middle years inspecting a metal tool unlike any you've ever... You've seen him. He has several similar strange items on his belt, all quite clean and orderly. They look like the tools one might use to pull a tooth or a shoe, a horse, but much more delicate. He wears pristine, cream-colored robes. The muzzle of an arbalisk is visible just over his shoulder. Your eyes brighten when he notices you. The man's robes shimmer with a faint trace of arcane energy. Lifts stitched into the hems and sleeves seem to be the source of the effect. Good day, traveler. I see you've taken an eye to my instruments. If you've any interest in the medical sciences, you need only ask. Dude, yeah, I can't wait to see how that works out for you as well. Well then, questions? Uh, tell me about yourself. I'm a researcher in the medical sciences. And before you ask, no, I don't mean animancy. Neither do I mean magic, nor, gods forbid, necromancy. Medicine, medicine. Study of the kith body, its inner workings and such. I've misgivings about magic use. It's useful, I'll grant you that, but it's a crutch. Stunts our scientific development, you understand. Makes me a bit unpopular, as you can no doubt imagine, which is why I've got this arquebus here. Uh, what do you mean by unpopular? A patient of mine died under questionable circumstances. One morning they were fine, and the next they were dead. Someone is trying to discredit my work, I just know it, but they won't succeed. I came here to the archipelago to evade my rival's attempts at sabotage. And there certainly is quite a lot of work in the dead fire, I must tell you. Can you teach me what you've learned in your research? I've told you of my troubles. I suppose it's the least I can do. Settle in now. I've got a lecture prepared for just this occasion. Of course, it will cost you 3,000 copper. For alchemy and religion? No, I don't think so. Should you change your mind, you'll find me here. All right. That's that's cool and all, dude, but I'm not paying freaking three thousand copper right now for alchemy and we will witness uh, a no beginning religion. Let's go to the Temple of Garn. Gone, Garn. Where am I getting these words from? We're, we're gonna have some trouble tonight pronouncing things, aren't we? But I think for the most part, everything will be uh very nice. Okay, can we loot this? Yes. Can actually, loot all this. I mean, we're, we're, if it's if it's stuff we aren't Here's stealing, do the we're taking it. Dream journal. The writing on this tartared scrap of paper looks like it, it was penned by someone still half asleep. Have you ever dreamed so real that you wanted that you wanted Aotha so badly that you could do anything? A line is drawn through the writing below, which his author has scrawled, "No more cheese before bed." Right there, under the statue of Gone. So it is you. I could not think of a reason why your ghost should haunt the dead fire, save to haunt me. And that smacks of arrogance. Adderick smile crooked, smiles crookedly at you, something which causes the soldier beside him to regard you with bemused curiosity. Sister. Adderick turns towards Shodi, bowing his head. Sh uh, blushing, Shodi tries not to preen. Takehu grins and pats down a nest of his writhing hair. Adira seems pleased. Adiric gestures and the soldier turns away. He steps in closer towards you, as if to share a conspiratorial whisper. But you notice that he is looking elsewhere, behind you, around you. And why do these spirits follow you? More blood on your hands? We were never friends, I know, but when they told me your keep was destroyed, I was sorry to think that you were dead. Solo Paladin Wizard with that dexterity? Let me know how that goes, Decadency. Adiric, I thought you could go back to Ritzeris. I did, in time. Once I thought I had summoned up the words to explain what happened in the White March. None of it made much sense to the Regency, but my men stood by me. If I was mad, so were they. When the priest spoke of Aethys' return, I volunteered to come, along with a few of my men. I think the Morning Council was content to have me out of the way. That's putting it all very simply. But then... I suspect few of us have simple reasons for coming to the dead fire. He regards you expectingly. 
Um. Hmm. Sorry, Derek. I lost your sword along with my castle. That sword was only meant to keep you alive through your ordeal. It's fulfilled its purpose. I'm tracking down Aethos. So, his oh wow, has are you going triple crown as well? I think for once I am content to wait. If our god wishes to speak with us, wishes anything of us, he will give us a sign. The priests pray daily. Oh my god, good luck, dude. Uh, what do you want from Aethos, Ad Aderic? I would know if he has a plan for Rayet Saris. Seemed to remember he already had one. This wasn't any good. Yes, play the jealous child. All you knew of his plan was that you weren't part of it. Aethos had something he wanted to get done. And he chose Raid Saris to pay the price. Yet here you are, begging for more. <laughs> Gotta act quick. Say what you want about dear Woodens, but at least they got a will of their own. A Derek enough. You're right. That was uncalled for. I apologize. A Derek takes a step back, red faced. Uh, s see you around, a Derek. Take care, and may the shining God light your way. Okay, we have the acolyte of Ethos. Norgarand. We have a lot of people here. We get the abandoned cat, maybe? Fra? Fra Nils. Three accuracy with melee. Eight max health. Eh, it's not that good. Okay, um... Let's just talk to the statue, maybe. Rubbing the back of her neck, self-consciously, Shodi cast her gaze to the side. <sighs> Nothing like a homecoming to make a girl remember her roots. Even if they are dried up and half dead. She sighs, nudging a bit of mud from her boots before she lifts her face to settle on you with her big, dark brown eyes. A deer heaves a heavy sigh. Sometimes I wonder if my brethren don't think I got black ichor running in my veins. They just don't know your value. <laughs> Why are you so fond of me, Watcher? She shakes her head, hard. Makes me think untoward things. Gives me notions I don't need to be getting. I can't risk straying when I got a duty to gone. To Kim who drums his fingertips on his cheek as he hides a smile. We claim here to cleanse your soul. All right. Yeah, I'm ready. I've done this before, but never with such a full lantern. You may want to stand back. The uh, experience can be somewhat intense. Kneeling before the statue of Gone, Shodi sets her lantern between her knees Head bowed, she presses both her palms to the copper cage. A low chant lifts from her lips. As it grows louder, the light from her lantern grows brighter, as does the lantern that the statue of Gon holds in one skeletal hand. The two lights pulse in rhythm with the chant, resonating with each other, twin heartbeats that pound faster and stronger until the light from Gon's lantern bursts outward in a shower of violent hued rays. The essence bays Shodi's bent form, making her jolt upright as a cry escapes her. <sighs> Don't know if I feel cleaner, but I feel something. Blessed, for sure. Shodi offers you a half-smile as she retrieves her lantern, trembling fingers curling against the gleaming metal cage. Takehu rocks back on his heels, nodding to himself. Let's just hope it lasts, because my lantern feels as heavy as ever, full to brimming with essence, like dark water spilling over my mind. The Dawnstars are all about goodness and light. Why are you so concerned with death and darkness? Why do you think the god of rebirth held an aspect of death within him? You can't have life without dying. Takehu rocks back on his heels, nodding to himself. There ain't no beginning without a prior ending. Ain't no day without night. No spring without fall. You can't grow crops if you never harvest for seeds. Let's be off. All right. I'll be right behind you. All right. Watcher, I was oh. wondering if I could run something by you. What's on your mind? Well, to put it simply, you are. She swallows thickly. I've tried, but I can't get you out of my thoughts and dreams. I think I know where this is going. You do? I hope that's a good sign then, or at least tops the usual omens I get. Forgive my audacity. I know I've got no place to, but I care for you more than I can rightly say. Fingers trembling, she wipes her damp palms on her tunic. I was wondering if you might return the sentiment. I'd hope that would be obvious. The pink tip of her tongue swipes across her lips. She sucks her lush bottom lip between her teeth before puffing out a heated breath. Why would I believe? Or hell, even think the Watcher himself could be interested in me. Wanted it desperately, yes. But hoped? I'm almost afraid to believe it. 
that you would want me just as much and fierce. Shodi ducks her head, but it fails to hide the blush and the smile that spread across her face. But darned if it doesn't make me so very, very happy. Talk a loose, uh, hmm. Your mind, Shodi, and no one else's. You're right about that. Gingerly, the priestess clasps your hand and presses your palm over her heart. When you touch me like this, even through my clothes, I can feel it hot as a Getting brain. hot and heavy in here, guys. I'd sear your name over my heart, Watcher, if you'd only let me. But other parts of you feel just as hot, or hotter even. The muscles in her throat constrict. Bet I'd like to find out. Why don't we continue this discussion somewhere more private? Watcher, I thought you might never ask. A throaty, <laughs> eager laugh escapes her as she tugs uh, you forward by the hand. There's so much I've longed to try and to see. Or to not see. Let me turn my lantern low. I want nothing but shadows between us. Languidly, Shodi runs a hand through her mused hair. She watches you hungrily, though she should be well sated. That was divine. Surely, Watcher, you are a blessing from gone. All right. That's what that's what constitutes uh, sex in the dead fire. A brief brief run through of the hair in the temple of uh, gone. Her uh, her uh, <laughs> what's the, her god basically? All right, what are we doing? Wait, what the fuck? What Paninsky? You didn't you didn't know they didn't, they wanted to get to know each other, you know, in the biblical sense from all that? Um okay. So we could go kill Decilia, take her ship's triumph. Come Voyager uh Alicio, often found in the waters south of Nekataka. We should definitely go do that and we should probably head back to um hmm It's kind of like, okay, so what do we have? We can go back down to Takawara, right? Um, Pokokohara, we need to go to. What was the quest to go back? Was there an actual quest for it? Hmm. We need to go do this as well. It seems that the Roporo reached an agreement with a group of pirates. Information. Oh, this is what uh, the prince wants. We need to tell the prince, right? Tips are guided with the aid of water shaping. We should definitely go tell the prince. We're, we're kind of like getting rid of all the pirates but us. There were some awesome cards in the first switcher. Did they just do it? I think they just did it. That That's my, my guess through the text. Not as a graphic... Uh, as the Witcher, that's for sure. The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 scenes were, were hot and spicy all the time. You ever thought about changing the no, it did not. Yo, you should play... No, okay, I don't want to spoil anything, Twininsky. You should play uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. And there's a, there's a hot and heavy romance scene. <laughs> that that uh it's actually better than this one i'll say that no spoilers on how you, how you can get that though um okay we need to actually go down to the palace it's so great it's so good i don't think i streamed it uh because yeah so that was when my ex was visiting is when I, I did that scene because I was playing that game. Still, I didn't stream with the whole thing. I see you pulled and got his chosen from the guild hall. Aruhi nods to Tekehu. Kira, but have you pried any secrets from the gullet yet? Aruhi raises his brow and motions you, or motions for you to go on. The Principi are smuggling cargo via the Undercroft. That is not. Takehu pauses, giving you a quizzical look. You have something on your mind, Takehu. Kira, I was. Mistaken. Seraphin's eyes close as he nods along. Shoti flicks her sickle back and forth, agitated. Undercroft. A darker, more fetid layer of Nekataka, I say. He cradles his chin in his palm, looking off into the distance. Only Kaza and I are the mind and heart of the city, but the bowels. These we cannot reach. What say? Did Ngati's chosen learn anything from the voyage below? Aruhi gestures to, to Takahu. My prince, 
I have always known those who pray for Ngati's favor, but only now do I see those who depend on it. Ikira, I see that a feather of Amira's wisdom drifted down to find you. Aruhi nods with approval. At least Delva's row is a stable target. The crown has time to decide the next steps. For what it's worth, I think Delva's row should remain untouched. What say? Aruhi's brows brow rises slowly. Wait upon my curiosity. Speak on. He opens his palm and waits. The Raparu are barely in control of their lives as it is. Don't take this away from them. You are quick to come to their defense, but the Raparu must recall their place in society. Sighing, the prince weighs your words. If the black market will expend its resources toward the Raparu, then I say they have bought an easy truce. Delva's row is safe for now. Aruhi glances toward the entrance doubtfully, but shrugs in spite of himself. Be sure that I do not regret this. Water shapers were helping the pirates bring in ships. To Kehu, I say that no one wanted to hear your suspicions confirmed. Akara, me least of all, my prince. When it comes to the dignity of the guild, the crown can compromise nothing. Onikaza will see their leadership disciplined, I say. Say nothing. Onikaza and I both expect more from the guild, I say. She will not be pleased. Arui shakes his head and sighs. Akira, but at least you return to me in one piece. You are not the first agent I sent to the gullet, but you are the first to return. Aruhi grins in spite of himself and claps you on the shoulder. I cannot say that I desire to send you to worse places than the gullet, but... Aruhi trails off and scratches the back of his head. Speak on. I like to make a good impression with the Onikaza. Ikira, I like a man who works for his prize. Does the name Ukaizo mean anything to you? The face of Prince is impassive, but he seems to be studying yours with close attention to detail. A lost city, if local fables are to be believed. Fable? No. History, I say. Ukaizo was the home of the Huana before cataclysm and destruction wiped the island from the dead fire. That is the story. Do I like this game? I love this game so far. Ald, Ald Barash, am I saying it correct? I hope so. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a, a blast enough, the past few days. I mean, no secret that we search for Ukaizo. He studies you, allowing his words to sink in. Aye, along with every other bear-masked, bilge-brain treasure on a twix here in Old Valia. I've known sand crabs with a firmer grasp of a deer, and I say. Aruhi furrows his brow at Ser Seraphin. Our tribes are spread across many isles, but it is Ukaizo which binds us. Ukaizo and the knowledge that we must return. To that end, a local cartographer secured a lead. A breadcrumb to a breadcrumb, I say. I sent an expedition to Matari Okozi, one of the sanctuary isles. They were to retrieve evidence of our lost homeland. They have yet to return. Uh, Sanctuary Isles. They were sites where our ancestors grouped in terms of crisis. Constants in changing seas. You have the cartographer Atepo to thank. He wanders the western shrine if you would know more. The prince makes a dismissive wave towards the door. What makes you think that Motere Okazi contains evidence of Yukaizo? The Sanctuary Isles give comfort and guidance to sailors on the long journey home. I am hoping the island can remember its purpose and return us to the home we lost. How has the island remained hidden all this time? A question for those with years to gather reeds and scribe their thoughts. Aruhi smooths back his hair and sighs. It might be that someone or something on the island does not wish to be found. In better times than these, I would have been happy to oblige. Should I expect any resistance? The trading companies would not have thought to look for Matari or Kozi, but now they are vultures to carry in. I do not doubt that our rivals race for the same thing, all while we fall behind. Aruhi sighs. No further questions. Ikira, then you are ready to depart? I, I trust you'll relay my helpfulness to the queen. Naturally, I say. My sister remembers her friends. I remember her enemies. Aruhi winks. Sikehu. I trust you are going. I want the tribes to know that Ngati's Chosen stood among those who threw open the gates of Ukaizo. He turns a hopeful glance to Takehu. I make no promises of dirtying my hands in some fetid jungle, but I do not protest a calm voyage. Irked, Shodi runs her tongue over her teeth. Before you go. Aruhi lowers his tone and glances to his left and right. That did seem like too nice a way to end it. The expedition. I have reason to believe they will not be returning to Nekataka. Say nothing. We found this at the palace doorstep. 
cut from the robe of the expedition leader. He reaches into his pockets and draws forth a wad of red stained bark cloth. One mystery heaped on another, I say. He drags his thumb over the cloth and frowns to himself. Let me see that. I may be able to learn something from it. Nodding, he relinquishes the scrap. A fragment of essence clings to the fabric like a thread woven too tightly to be unraveled. Trees tower above you, and ropey vines stretch like tentacles across a marshy ruin. It takes all of your strength to trudge through the hip-deep water. You glance over your shoulder, but the women and men of your company aren't there. Then a shape moves off in the distance. You draw your weapon, feeling now more alone than ever. The vision departs, leaving you with a deep pit in your stomach and the phantom sensation that nothing has gone as it should have. The prince regards you expectantly. Nature is restless on this island, but I can guess nothing more. I suspected this, as you say. Take care if you alight on Matari Okozi. My fear is that the island is sanctuary no more. Sighing, Prince Ahuri folds his cloth with reverence. Prepare yourself for a hard voyage northeast of Nekataka. Matari Okozi is nestled in the core of Rokuhu Islands, in the midst of a landmass that resembles a storm, like the fall of Ukaizo locked in time. Aruhi bites his thumbnail and turns away, lost in thought. Certain death it is, then. Hey, Cap, be reminding me to drop anchor at the next brothel we pass. Some things I aim to be given a try before you go getting us all good and killed. He rubs the scarred bridge of his nose. Hey, we leveled up. Um, should we maybe go back down then to uh, the old city while we're here? Give that another shot since we did level. Um, I think we want to take another point in Arcana. An insight. I'm kind of liking that. Oh, we get tier five spells now. Um, small chance to completely avoid any attack and convert some hits to criticals. Okay, five resistance. Five percent of hits converts to crits. Two max health. Range spells over longer distance. Reduce the time it takes to complete a spell's cast. I don't think that's actually that viable right now with turn-based combat. Uh, it looks like we have... These are in our, our grimoire, right? Malignant Clouds. Hmm. Torrent of Flame. Ringrim's Invenerating Terror. Target is hit with an immobilized affliction. It becomes the anchor of a frigid ray of energy from the wizard that does free dam freeze damage to creatures in its path. That could actually be really good. Isn't there like a death ray? That's supposedly really good. Hmm. PC is flipping out. Alright, buddy. Um What else do we have? Wall of Forest, no. Blast of Frost. Freeze damage. Causes a group of enemies to momentarily fall asleep, falling prone until the effect ends they receive damage. An insidious magical contingency activates when the caster is bloodied or lower. He or she immediately knocks all nearby enemies back and prone while gaining an armor rating and defense bonus. Torrent of Flame. Terrifying an inferno of flame around the caster. Okay. Hmm... Um, I thought there was like a death beam that was supposedly really good. Death ring, is this it? Call a black ring of ne necrosy. Gaze of the odd dragon, arcane reflection. Chain lightning, oh my god, I want chain lightning. Uh, let's pick up, um... Uncanny luck. That seems strong. Then a tier 5 spell. So this turns them into a pig, right? Cannot use active ab abilities. Very poor defenses, but can move quickly. Malignant Cloud is AoE versus, accurate, or versus Fortitude. Um. Hmm. So we could, this is versus will, that could be good. This is versus fortitude. 
Drains the targets, resolve intellect and perception, creates two lesser variations of the effect that jump to nearby enemies when the first effect ends. What do I want? What do I want? Creates a pike of pure magical force that deals pierce damage and causes a foe only blast explosion when striking. Creates a semi permeable barrier that inflicts crush damage and hobbles enemies when they pass through, but leaves allies unscathed. That doesn't seem very strong at all. Creates a bitter surge of ice and freezing cold air inflicting freeze damage to anyone caught in the conical area of effect. Target is hit with an immobilized affliction that becomes an anchor of frigid ray of energy from the wizard that does freeze damage to creatures in its path. Target and beam. I think I want to pick this up and give it a try. We need to respect, so be it. Hmm. But I mean, maybe we go passives. For now, we're going to get Malignant Cloud, and we're going to get Form of the Helpless Beast. We're really using, like, Necrotic Lance the most. Necrotic Lance does Corrode damage. Okay. Um, what does Corrode count as? Corrode, Freeze, Rock, or... Yeah, what is this? Hmm. Because does Corrode count as Acid Decay? Yeah, I just need to restart without Wodica's challenge. Alrighty. Ooh, it's early. Ray of Fire could be good as well. Hmm. Man, I don't know what to get. I don't know what would be good. Because Corrode doesn't count as, like, Acid and Decay, does it? Can I buff this is, like, what I'm a I guess I'm really asking. Doesn't seem like it. Honestly, our Tier 5 spells blow. Everything is for rest? Oh my god. No, no, I would not do that. That sounds insane. I mean, maybe with like melee characters who can hit hard without needing all their their abilities, but like a wizard or anything like that, a wizard paladin where you're relying on that, has acid keyword. Okay, well, I, I don't think this is. Oh, this does have acid. Oh, okay, so necrotic lance uh, w does get affected by that, all right? So let's take let's take this, the penetration and the uh, the uncanny luck. I'm like trying to fill my vape and spilled oil everywhere as well while doing this. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Thank you for the help, Nutmeg. I appreciate it. I didn't even think to look at the keywords. So that'll give us higher penetration and damage on that. And then we get some extra luck. Uh, Alright. Shodi... Uh, we need to put some religion on you. Should have been doing that earlier. We're going to keep getting mechanics as well. Hmm. Increases the effectiveness of any healing you cause. That sounds good. Um, single target the acute inspiration. Cute. Five intellect, one to all power levels. What did we pick up? Wicked Briars sprouts thick thorny vines from the from the ground, causing persistent pierce damage and hobbling any that remain in the area. Kind of like that. Grants fallen friends a second chance, reviving unconscious allies in the area of effect and restoring a small amount of their health. Grants a divine favor to an ally, imbuing them with the resolute and tenacious inspirations, as well as to a bonus to engagement. 
five resolve five might two penetration that could be really strong we're gonna pick that up i think and nutmeg thank you for the follow dude i appreciate that um yeah let's pick up champion's boon and practice healer for shoddy Dude, yep, hype. Uh, the hype is real. Thank you, dude. All right, dear. Uh, we're going athletics, and I think we need another point, maybe in streetwise. Kind of getting balanced. Health never regenerates in Wodaka Challenge. Oh my gosh, that year. Oh, that sounds so brutal. Okay, what is this? Guardian stance. Enemies that disengage from the fighter are immediately attacked and prone to successful. Yes. Let's pick that up. Um, two max health per level. That could be good. Small chance to completely avoid any attacks. Also good. Deflection could be good. The fighter draws strength from their own indomitable spirit, causing them to regenerate a portion of the health loss from each attack. 25% of damage taken converted into healing for two rounds. Hmm. We can get Resolute. Five Resolve. Unbending seems good. Too disciplined for that. Hmm. Deflection. Plus four deflection. I think I want to go with Uncanny Luck. We'll go Guardian Stance, Uncanny Luck. Not getting hit better than regening. Alright, Takehu, uh, your Explosives and Metaphysics. Uh, we need to get a higher tier. Uh, we need to get like a Summon, right? Um... On Takehu, but he doesn't really have an option for summons, it looks like. Except for the Putrid Stench summons. Hmm. What is this? Leech an effect that deals raw damage to foes in an area. Yeah, so he doesn't really have any summons as a Chanter Druid. Revives allies in the area with a small amount of health. What is this? Curse enemies in the area to be frightened. Minus five resolve, minus three. All power levels cannot use hostile abilities. Um. Takehu, you just honestly need some more fortitude, I think. Whoops. Wait, wait, we get one per. Oh. Okay, hold on. No, yeah, we just get one total. Okay. Enemies in the area of effect have had their skin infested by hordes of burrowing maggots, inflicting raw damage over time. The more wounded the target, the greater the damage. Target maximum health takes no damage from the spell. Oh. Will defense, concentration. Reflex, Fortitude. This gives 10 Fortitude. This is going to get 10 Fortitude as well, right? Let's just pick that up for now. I think that'll be okay. So a Pure Chanter might have been more fun. Uh, and then this is Seraphin. Let's go with that Sleight of Hand. And Bluff. Alright, what can you do? Our Cypher. We can get a tier 5 spell now. Ransacks an enemy's intellect and perception for energy, causing damage to those uh, enemy attributes while boosting the Cypher's defense. Splinters the target's soul with sheer force, inflicting raw damage. That rolls against fortitude. Cause a reverberating wave to wash over all those near and target ally, granting friendly characters the resolute inspiration and removing concentration from enemies. 
Connects the Cypher's mind with an ally, granting the Cypher and their ally an aware inspiration and increasing engagement limits. Huh. Invokes a retaliatory strike, stunning an enemy whenever they target the Cypher's will defense. The Cypher's backlash becomes easily traumatic, inflicting additional raw damage to the target. Okay, we're going to say that one, and I think I want to grab this Tactical Mield. It seems pretty strong. Because it's going to give Perception, which is like king. And that'll be a good buff, even against like single targets or anything. Right? Because we can do it on a deer, we could do it on a logical. Something like that. You catch Takehu glancing your way. He quickly focuses elsewhere and smooths back his hair when he notices your attention. Something on your mind? Is there anything the Watcher does not see? Takehu grins, but the look quickly diminishes. We have both seen the worst of the city. How the Reparo cluster like sea rats. Takeu's hand unconsciously strays towards his stomach. Delver's robe will take care of them for a time, but I say the crown will not suffer the Principe for long. How did the stone walls and paved lanes of Nekitaka divide us so? He sighs, shaking his head. You have walked the length of Nekitaka's spine. How would you serve the needs of all these people at once? I'd collaborate on a new plan for the city. Do you think that something in the great pattern of Nekitaka does not align with the Hawana way? Nodding, Takehu absently tugs at one of his hairs. For the moment, he seems totally withdrawn. Finally, he snaps back into focus, regarding you with a smile which just seemed both genuine and strained. I was hard pressed to find insight like yours. Your, uh, your back when it's updates. Oh gosh, I hope I don't have updates tonight. Some of the tension leaves Takehu's shoulders, and he stands a little taller than before. Let's be off. All right. Um. So we could do. We need to travel to the ruins. Keo Okori, Chain of Islands, a long journey northeast of Nektaka, in the midst of a landmass shaped like a storm. Um, hmm. I kind of want to go do this bounty, right? No, not that bounty. Um, there was a bounty, I thought. This one, right? Cecilia commands the voyager uh, Alicio. She's often found in the waters south of Nikataka. And then we can head back to uh, uh, Fort Deadlight as well. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. Come on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and meet up with that girl. Um, Story-wise and motivation-wise and, and all. Uh, so currently I like the Hawana stories. Um, like, and we've been helping out the Hawana. Uh, we've been killing uh, Principi like crazy. Like, we're just, we went and we're slaughtering almost everyone at Fort Deadlight. Uh, had to, like, sneak our way out to not kill a couple characters so they can become neutral to us. And the new leader of the Principi uh, uh, were going, to, we're supposed to go meet up with her, which is something we're going to be doing. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying the Hawana stories and the Children of the Dawn Star. Uh, the Gullet, I'm not a huge fan of. We've kind of slaughtered quite a few people down there as well. Uh, not really meaning to. And I'm not a fan of the Valayan Trading Company. Uh, I'm going to be helping the Roy Royal Deadfire Company and sabotaging uh, the Valians. It's going to take multiple playthroughs of this to fully experience like all of the factions and uh, the pros and cons of each. Uh, so I'll definitely be doing a second playthrough, probably not immediately after this one. But at some point in the future, would like to uh, to give it another go, you know. Actionless. Um, I haven't played through it yet. I haven't finished the game ever. This is way further than I even got when it first came out. So uh, maybe a, a playthrough of it. But yeah. So my job loads the handbook as a PDF through JavaScript and Canvas Shell, but I can't seem to download it directly. I don't see a PDF in network tabs, so no save as, no print, etc. Um, Padinsky? Oh yeah, you asked Padinsky, I didn't see that. I was like, I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> Uh, 
plus five to all factions, minus five to slavers. Is there slavers somewhere that I didn't see? What do these things do? Our dispositions. We're not cruel at all, it looks like. Even though we're kind of aggressive, we're very benevolent, it, looks, it seems. We haven't even done anything with Pelagina yet. Takei likes us, Shodi likes us, Adir likes us, and Seraphin likes us. That's about it. Oh, it boosts your things if you're a Paladin or Priest. Gotcha. Okay, so we're looking for... Um, Decilia, the Voyager Elysio. It says... South in the waters of Nekataka. Uh, how's our ship looking for food? Okay, we need... Oh my god, we're gonna need to go buy... Like, rum. Or ale. Okay, ale's better than water. Grog is decent. Find a Darien mead. Yeah, we need to we need to buy food and stuff. There is an island over here. It looks like with a Tangola Maw and a ruined tower. Captain Thanik. Who's this? This is Hawana Silver Winds. I mean, we could become a pirate. I want to, like, become a pirate and get get a much better ship if possible, you know? Get one of the big ships, make all the money. Just things to do down the road. The fetid veg vegetal smell of decay alerts you to the swamp before you stumble upon it. It extends far into the distance, overgrown with ancient trees and vines. Solid patches of ground are few and far between. Crossing the morass will likely demand many miles of arduous travel. Forge ahead into the swamp. With patience and some careful maneuvering, you manage to keep yourself and the others out of the stinking morass and on dry ground. You come upon a particularly boggy stretch surrounded by dense trees with not a single patch of dry ground in sight. With no way forward but through, the for you forge ahead into the bog. You're startled by a chorus of moaning voices. You spin around, searching for the source, but the moans seem to come from every direction at once. Through the trees you spot a narrow deer trail. You may be able to get free of the bog that way, but there's no telling where it leads. Head for the path. Some quick thinking and good guide sense, a deer leads you to safely leads you safely to the path. You pause to catch your breath before forging on, but don't have long to rest. The moaning grows longer grows louder and closer. You're surrounded. Thanik is a friendly ship? Okay. I mean, I want to. I need to trade with people as well. You can't just trade with ships. I'm assuming. Hmm. So we have a skeleton. Okay. Um. Where's the other two? Uh. This guy has super low defenses. Holy shit! You can with merchant ships. Oh, that's good to know. We might have to try that. A hundred percent chance to hit. Shodi, uh, honestly, you can just end your you turn. Something. To Kehu, I mean, if you, you can, too much. you can hit this guy. Yeah, end your turn. Where are these other two? Oh, they're over here. Okay, okay. Captain. Few skeletons out and about, eh? Nothing, savvy. Uh, attack, Cap. This feels like a low-level uh, encounter. We only have Here level scaling on uh, for the main quest line. So that encounters like this, we can just breeze through and still do the story. Or it would take forever. Some of these encounters are already hard enough. It's beyond me. <laughs> you just took a steaming Podinsky on my like Quasimodo? Ooh. Tell us more. Wait, why is this guy just walking in? Oh, it's a rock cast over here. Okay, um. 
Hold on, can we throw down like a, uh... Hmm. Sprouts thick thorny vines in the ground, causing persistent pierce damage and hobbling. I think that's beyond me. Dude, what if we just... No movement, okay. Um... We just throw this right here. I'll keep going through that. Um, see that one over there. Give me a lightning bolt, just right at that guy. Why not? Oh, another rock gas, okay. This necrotic lance is taking... Wait. Did we just disengagement hit him and kill him? Wow, these guys are super weak. That was a waste of a spell. Yes. That guy's hobbled. Um, way too far away to do anything. All right. Necrotic lance on that guy. What do you need? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I, I love it. Ahoy. Seraphin, come over here. Take a shot. Okay, these rock ass have quite a bit of health. But we should be okay. Pull him in. Hit him out. You hope it's Wesnoth? What's up, Valter? No, not Wesnoth. Not yet. I don't know when I'll get to that if I do. Yes. Just some good old fashioned it's pillars of eternity. Take this. Uh we really didn't need to do that actually. Uh but let's let's uh Yeah, let's just hit him with another necrotic lance. That should kill him. Shoddy's doing some damage over here. Let's see if we can knock him down. What's that? Too difficult to um, Takehu, why don't you come help out all this rot gas as well? You got to 99? Congrats. You did not tell me that. That's insane. They're on vacation till the end of February? Holy crap, dude. Are you going to try to go for 100 before um, the new league? I know we get the new league announcement in like two and a half weeks. Well, I guess, dude, I I wish you nothing but the best. I believe you can do it. I had to uh, I had to take a little break myself. Oh man. Happy to no can do. Buying off too much. Um, let's just do a pillar of fire. Why not? I don't know if these guys explode. Well, that's not it. I didn't do that much. What do you need? Bring a deer over here in case this guy does get close. I am the alpha predator. Oh my gosh. There is a rock gas ravisaur. Okay, this wheelhouse, friend. Somebody who's a lot a harder over there than these other ones. Yeah, the pure breach stones is like is the way to go with it for sure. Did you see that post of the guy who got or the six man team who got one hundred in under four hours? That that's some next level shit, man. That is that is insane. Speak your mind. Um this I cannot do. You might be able to kill this guy, Takehu. Oh, that was not a kill. Oh. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get a fireball going. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shodi killed him. Well done. Come up here. I mean, everyone's doing it with breach stones. If I was still playing, sure I I'd be on the breach stone path. Uh, Seraphim, what do you have? You have an arbalist. Okay, we're gonna switch that out. I kind of agree with you on some way, Balter, which has definitely contributed to me not running the Breach Stones yet, but I did plan on doing them. I'm just like happy I got to 97. 
97 has, was a uh, I don't think I can pull that off. Was a tough tough grind for me. Yeah! Getting to 98 would be just next level as well. Ahoy. Okay. Um Seraphin, can you come up here? I think we can Not kill good. these with illogical and stuff. So I want to try and maybe work on this slinger. Yes. Our guys down here. I mean, I only did one pure breach stone, and that didn't. And then I died like immediately after. Firefox release security updates. Oh, okay. Hold on. I feel like this is important for me to look at. Why do I have to log in? Oh, wrong link. Not the first link. Okay. Wait, did I just leave all your messages? I thought I just deleted that message. Why does it like time everything out with you, doobies? I thought I would just delete that m message. It's okay. Bye. No, you can't leave me. You can't leave me. Nah, it can do. It can do one only. Online time them. What? It can online time them all. I thought you could delete individual messages right now. Okay. Um. I don't have an update for my browser. Firefox 65, Firefox ESR 60.5. Yeah, I got that. Um, I just reset my browser. You can still see the link. Yeah, I know. Better Twitch TV is better, but hey, I decided just to remove it in case. You know, Windigo was posting uh freaking doctor's numbers the other day, and <laughs> we decided just to pur he's trying to purge the chat. But it doesn't really work with Better Twitch TV. All right, I'll have to reset my browser, doobies. Don't hack me in the meantime. That would be a no. All right, um, we could do another pillar of fire on these guys, except we have to get a lot closer. Yeah, uh, hmm. Let's do another iconic projection, actually. Except we can't. Okay, give me some healing ground. Oh, I didn't know what it was. It just, so I was trying to log me, me in. I figured you wouldn't be posting sensitive information. Oh, you know what we can do? Hold on, come over here, Takeo. See this lightning bolt? We're just gonna fuck these guys up. The worst hangover is don't compare the one you have right now, the headache you have. Ouch. That does not sound appealing. Come on, don't move too far. Stay in the line of fire. Look at that. Look at that. They're just staying in the line. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, who's this? What do you need? That was now That order is too tall. That was so depressing. Actually, that did like no damage. Mm -hmm. Get some bounding missiles going. It's out like you can't lock in. You guys, I was trying to be be nice and helpful. And oh, you guys are over here just, you know, acting normal. You ask too much. Hmm. Hmm. What do we want to do here? I think we should attack Your this guy. Will feed the land. This guy's going to take a while to get to us. Happy to oblige. All right. Shody, that would be I guess we're waiting because these guys are getting closer. Um, switch to your crossbow for now. To try something else. Finish them. You're logging this as it follows. Ooh, I'm ready. I'm ready, doobies. We're gonna find out all the secrets. Watch me work. Get your. Get your phone email, your own email, you mean? 
Damn, you got me. How'd you know my password? Wait, wait, there's there's a couple numbers to my password. Doobies, what are the numbers at the end? People are gonna need those. You tried to log in with that, didn't work. Not it's cause sure it's cause you're missing the numbers. Holy shit, doobies. Where are you getting all this information from? Get you are you are elite hacker for sure. And now that I've been pwned, what are you gonna do with it? Malignant cloud. They're immune to poison, immune to disease. I will do a concussive missile. Yours to command, Captain. Porn spam. I would expect nothing Watch less. Me, yeah. Oh. Well, that's not it. I hope it's all like like freaking hentai though as well, right? Ahoy, out my wheelhouse, friends. Oh my god, we have a hundred and twenty on this guy. So this is gives focus. Let's do a uh me too, a mind soul ignition thing. Wait, did that guy just? Sh oh, he's ranged. He can shoot. Oh wow. Uh, I was not expecting that. Yes. All right. A logical. Um. Shoot another fireball. Why not? Ah, oh, god. That's not gonna do that much. That's not doing much at all either. To 19. Wow, this Ravager is actually kind of tough. Uh, the Soul Ignition did hit here. Alright, come up here. Let's focus on this one. Uh, Takehu. Yeah. Fire at that one. Slow and steady. We got this. Shodi, heal, illogical. Oh, and there's another one. How many of these are there? Sorry, friend. I can't. <sighs> can't make a dent. <laughs> Sam was there on Mac addresses. Captain. Couldn't have been that bad. So we only have a 50% to hit on that. 91%, but we gotta get closer. Oh, wait, was on Mac, like Mac computers or Mac addresses? Because, yeah, I mean, everything, everything about Mac computers, I would, I would not be happy with. Fuck it, let's get a fireball. Look, man, I was giving you the benefit of a doubt, assuming it was going to be, be a little more, uh, not sure relevant to everything in life. Mac computers. Who cares die. about those? We could shoot another lightning bolt off. Shoot off healing beams. Oh, look at this. Is that not perfect? <laughs> Did like no healing. Oh my god. Now that order is too tall. This thing isn't doing the job. Scroll wheels and verge use command and not control when it's positioned where the alt button is normal keyboards. Wait, that's what you had to learn? I feel like if you own a Mac for like... Yeah, I mean, if you're using a Mac, I would hate it as well. But if you had to own a Mac, you should know those things. It's beyond... Okay, what do we do here? What do we do? I mean, we should blood magic again. Necrotic lance, let's go. Yeah. These guys are, like super resistant to fire. I didn't even realize. Not sure I can. These guys just have so much health. Yeah, resistant to fire as well. 50% chance. A 
All right, what if we come over here and make our life a little easier? And we say, hey, I want to just dominate one of you. Well, since that's not happening, hit that guy for now. Yours to command. Too difficult, I say. Yeah? Leave it to me. This is a really slow fight. The classification of fonts. Is that going to be useful ever? Okay, Necrotic Lance hit. Freaking Soul Ignition hit. This guy's dead. Right? So we can leave him alone. And there's another one. What the hell is this fight? Mm -hmm. Alright. This gave me a freaking high tier one, something I didn't want. Go to the bow. What for, Cap? Seraphin. Come over this way. Start firing at this one. Well, Kog Swabber. At your service. They come in waves, yeah. This, I do. this is this is just like This fight's yeah. lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. It started off so easy and now I'm like, oh. Yeah. Oh, there's actually some challenge here. Something I can do. And by the challenge being everything's so spread out. Stronger. Jody, you're gonna have to heal yourself. Okay, that guy's dead, thankfully. Yes, I fear not. Writhing tentacles inflict corrupt or er, er, it's beyond corrupt. Me. Oh my god, crush and corrode. What else are we gonna do? Oh, we can just come over here. This guy's gonna take a while to get to us. Start working on these. Get yes. some of that sweet healing that we're gonna be able to get off. What can I do you for? You need something. There's a literally a lab of 16 max that don't get used for anything other than design class. This Why? Do. Design is linked with Apple products? I mean... <laughs> seems outdated. What do you need? Here we go. Okay, so I'm trying to understand. Right, what the damages we're doing when we're mousing over this stuff. Like, is that going to do 75% of the frost damage, right? That's what I'm assuming that means. Ahoy. I know my thing, savvy. Seraphin, you want to dominate? Just dominate this guy for now. It makes no difference. At your service. Okay, so we did dominate him. Now have four songs as well. Yeah, let's not use that. Um Do the lightning bolt out that way. You're at full health. Blood magic up. That's going to do 25% of the fire damage. The 75% of the damage is pierce. 50% of the damage is... Or 75% of the crush damage. We can do that. What can I do you for? Was nothing home enough? Wait. Home... Home ma'am? I don't know what that is. Time to separate the chaff. What for, Cap? Seraphin... Solid 34. Oh, Heroes of Might and Magic. We were just talking about that yesterday. Because I had a weird dream that uh, I was in Discord with like different YouTubers. And Sazeth was in Discord just ranting about Might and Magic. Not Heroes of Might and Magic, just Might and Magic. And I was just like, it was a weird fucking dream. That order's too tall. Can't make a dent. 
Yeah, that, that lightning did some decent damage. I can take that. Still going for my guys. What's Death March? Death March means he's going to explode? Oh, no. Okay, it only took half his health. We're good. You have my attention. All right, Takehu. Uh, let's drop some Chill Fog out here. I'm going to do 25% of the frost damage, though. Uh, illogical. Use some more blood magic. Yo, now we can get a Necrotic Lance out. Let's go. Yeah. Shodi, can we heal Illogical? What do you need? Uh, a deer. Sorry, friend. Dude, let's Can't. see if we can leap you over here. Right on target. Nice. Nice. Dude, these guys do Alu Akbar. Aloha snack bar. It's a twap. Captain. Oh, that was some decent damage. Going for that soul ignition. Something I can do? Yeah, a deer. Knock this guy down. Well done. Oh, did he just soul ignite himself? I fear not. No, the soul ignite hit. What happened? Wild Mine, hits Seferin, Mrs. Shodi, interrupts Sef Seraphin. Wild Mind, oh gosh. Can you become a character? Not not in this game. All the uh, characters are just the companions uh, we've picked up as we've been going along. Yeah, I know. It, it keeps doing, doing shit to us and we keep living with it. It's been pretty funny. It killed him before. Interesting mechanic for sure. Okay, the domination's off. We have our whip out now. This guy's near death. He's gonna explode. He's gonna explode on... And we're not gonna be able to do anything about it. Dude, yeah, that seems like uh, you need some alcohol <laughs> to forget about all the pain. <laughs> no, don't kill him. Oh, it missed. Oh, we're in good. We're in good shape. It makes no difference. Uh, I'm too difficult, I say. Come up here. Oh Just keep God. working on this one a little bit. Oh. All right. Blood yeah. magic it up. Not getting anything we really want. What can I do you for? Yo, magic. Something I don't think I can pull that off. We knocked him down again. Got to try something else. Did some damage. Watch me whip, whip. Watch me, Nene. Oh, he missed. What a miss. Seraphin. Shitty 13. Yes. I'm going to do 25% of the fire damage. It says I'll do 100%. It's poison. It's doing raw damage, but he's immune to poison. I just don't know anymore. Speak your mind. Uh, you know what, Takehu? Let's let's get one of these like healing bolts to hit a deer just to be safe. Yeah, I think that's beyond me. What do you need? <laughs> Keep him knocked. Just gets he gets knocked down and he gets back up again. Boy, Never gonna keep God. him down. Near death. Hmm? Oh, it 
Indeed. Perfect. That was actually a wonderful what amount of damage. Oh my god, so close. It makes no difference. Hmm? Alright, dear. Your life on the line. Way to go. Way to go. Watch my unsub, unsub, watch me follow and follow. I mean, come on. The whip is whipping though. And and don't you enjoy the karaoke? Like everybody else, normal people enjoy my karaoke. It's because there's no music on behind it, right? To distract you from the the off tune and off key uh, singing that I can provide. Dude, this bow is awesome. You ask too much. devour you. Yeah. What do you need? This bow is like super cool though. I like it. Ahoy. Nightcap. I mean Okay, so something on Car X, right? There was this one time I was like on the freeway uh, in SoCal and I was driving back like on the 55 for those of you in SoCal who know this I was on the 55 and I was like getting off by uh, um, South Coast Plaza uh, and there was like on the off ramp like off to the side was just this car completely like abandoned in flames right there was like no fire department or anybody there was like no one stopping or anything I had to be at it's work and like 10 minutes and I was like, I'm not stopping for this, but I was like, what the hell is just going on Very well. with a car just on the side of the road, just burning. And it was a shitty car, right? It was like, it was left there on purpose type of car. And someone's doing it. Dude, yeah, it's just like, Happy to no can do. I mean, LA, I don't think it would be that unreasonable to see, but like, I was like, by Orange County and Newport Beach, I was like, what the fuck is going on? What for, Cap? It was just weird. See you, must me too, man. What do you need? All right, we're gonna get this guy killed. This fight took a lot longer than I expected. Yes. Perfect. But this bow is so good. Look at this. It's just doing all this extra pierce and cold damage. Yes, Captain. Well, you just saw a car on the side of the road burning, like. This does like, not work. like, how does that happen? I think that's beyond me. Is it, it's probably like, Threshed. like drug related, right? Th that's what I imagine. Like that, that car was used to transport narcotics or something, and they're just fucking getting rid of it. That's what I want to imagine. Seems a little bizarre to me, but yeah, I don't think I can pull that off. Yes. I mean, Indeed. guess you're looking dude hi What's hiding on the freeway nearby. That's sketch. Okay, so I really like this bow. Mm -hmm. This bow is cool. We're going to switch back to that, though. Happy Everyone else is good with what they got. That shit took forever. Sure thing. Oh, we're going to... That fight took forever and all I got was some shitty loot out of it. Alright. Are we out of here though? I think we're out of here. So, with this bow being as cool as it is. Um, yeah, this formation's still good, I think. I think I'm going to call it Amber Lamps or something because I just blacked out from it. Holy shit, Balter. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that that might be extreme, but I mean, if you think you need medical help. Definitely should be complaining about a headache and stuff and blacked out, like. Stroking your dick like you stroke your brain. The stroking your brain. <laughs> Oh, I don't think that's good. Wait, hold on. What are the signs of a stroke? Uh, 
We're, we're now learning some things, guys. Because isn't it like if you s taste toast, it's like... But now I'm curious. Because wasn't there like something if you like taste... Like, smell burnt toast. Yeah, that's it. You like smell burnt toast? And things... Abnormal taste or smells. It's getting so technical looking this up. Gosh, I want like the frickin' the the uh the antidotal stuff, right? Like what what people people had. Sudden weakness or numbness, the face, arm, or leg, usually on one side of the body, and dimness or loss of vision. Sudden severe headache with no apparent cause. Then you have a stroke every day or you're just a bad cook. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you're okay, Walter. A lush, narrow valley lies below you. A spot You spot an overgrown stone structure built into the valley side in the distance. Before the stone structure spreads a broad field peppered with ancient plin plinus and mounds of cracked stonework. As you move closer, you discover that the stone structure is actually an entrance to a crypt. Though the doorway is thick with mud and as damp as sweat slick skin, you continue into the dark. What do we got here, Wendigo? This is a stroke. Face, arm, speech, time. Act fast. Alright. None of those? Okay. Oh, Ooh. Alright, give me off fast mode. Dargles. More Dargles. Alright, uh, we'll just come over here and start this way. This place looks cool, though. A vampire. Alright. It's beyond. 96 fortitude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're like never hitting a check on that. 56% to even hit that. 31%, 53. We'll try the necrotic lance there. Happy to oblige. I should run? Nah. Nah, they don't have like extra levels over me. I think we'll be okay. Um. That would be a no. Shody got a melody. All thick worth and raw. To Kehu. Do a lightning bolt, but that might hit somebody else. Um, 28% chance. Too difficult, I say. 43, 53. Yo, let's get a let's get a tentacle out. Yeah. Uh, a deer. You can just come right up. Oh, what is this? A revenant ogre, dude. Dude, we knocked the vampire down. I got this. I got this. Oh, we hit him with the necrotic lance. Watch it with that. The whip is out. Dargle, where are you going? No, no, no. Dargle, come back here. Get the whip up here as well. Uh, actually, we'll put the whip over here for now. Knock this thing back towards us. He's bloodied. Fingers crossed, dude. I I have faith in myself. Captain, out my wheelhouse, friend. Um, we can actually just like soul ignite this guy, maybe. Me too, mate. Hmm. Fifty, thirty-four, fifty-six, eighty-six percent of concussion missiles. Yes, this I cannot do. Just petrify this guy for good measure. Why not? Paralyzed. Soul ignition graze. I'm cool with that. Yeah, we can drop some fire, fire and brimstone on this guy. I think that's beyond me. All thick, worth and raw. Did I watch like Co. Co. Play like 20 minutes of Kingdom Hearts before uh. Uh, I started today. 
and yeah, I've never played a Kingdom Hearts. It looked pretty. That's all I have, all I can say about it. Hey, we killed the the Dargle. It's on Xbox One as well. Miss, come on, hit him back. There we go. I don't think I can all right. pull that off. Oh, there's a bunch of people coming over here. What is this? Another Dargle? It's only the vampire I'm worried about. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, Ogre? What are you doing? At your service. Can we like zoom in a little more to maybe figure out what we're doing over here? It's not gonna do nothing. You ask too much. This does not work. Yes. Okay. Logical yes. blood magic it up. Some more concussive missiles on the ogre. Say your prayer. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a there's a bunch of shit coming. May I be a candle in the night. We're just missing everything. Well, that's not it. That did not do enough damage. What is going on down here? Alright, we need to save our spells for whatever the hell is coming out from behind us. Just gonna keep missing. So many of them. This is like, this camera angle sucks. Wait, can you rotate the camera? Is that a thing in this game? Can I rotate it? I don't think it is. You can turn it off and options. No, no, I mean like, I wanna rotate it so I can see things clearly, right? Camera left. No, see that just goes left and right. Fix the Omega lol emote. What? You guys have to remind me at like the end of stream to go fix that shit. I'm not gonna remember. I'm not gonna go fix it right now. Oh? I fear not. You gotta remind me like at the end of stream, like a month ago or any time. Cause I'm just I'm not gonna remember. to oblige. I think that's beyond me. You have my attention. <laughs> Come here, Takehu. We're gonna petrify these if we can. Or just miss it all. Hmm? Try turning off centering and camera options. No, no. No, no, it's, I'm not, not, like, I'm not trying to, like, move the camera, like, left or right, right? Like this or anything, I'm trying to rotate it so I can get on the other side and be like looking from this back wall in. But I don't think that's an option. Because there's probably not textures on these back walls, I'm assuming. Now that order's too tall. Here we go. I got a six, better than nothing. Perfect. No, it's just not up. Yeah, yeah, I know the camera tracking of enemies I can turn off. I wanna like Rotate it around though. Is more more what I'd I'd want. Not my thing, Sammy. We're just missing everything right now. Look how many things we haven't even seen yet. Wait, use the hack? Like what? Like map hacks and stuff and botting or? 
Yeah, pan. I want to pan the camera. But yeah, I don't think that's an option. Oh, and there's another big dude over there. Oh, Death Guard Fanatic. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's beyond me. This guy's coming up, apparently. Uh, what can we do to him? Go for guaranteed damage. 28, it's not bad. I wish I could have done something. Yeah. Get thrashed. That hardly seems fair. I didn't know if that was actually gonna work. This I cannot do. Um, Takehu, let's become a shark. Beat on this vampire. Or just keep missing. Hmm? That's right. 30 damage will take. Bigger zoom and full bright. Oh. That's not really hacks. But Boy. Then then again, I didn't think of uh stuff in Diablo like uh Um fucked. What was the freaking overlay shit that revealed more stuff and gave you more information? Uh Turbo HUD. Turbo HUD and Diablo wasn't really hacks either. See, I don't use macros. I know a lot of people do, but but as a streamer, I just I don't want the, the drama started on me. Okay. Can we kill this vampire, please? Yes, Captain. He's gonna heal himself. You ask too much. Does this interrupt? No. We're gonna drop a blizzard. It's gonna do like no damage, but we're gonna try it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a Dargle over here as well. Uh, all right. Let's drop some fire on everybody. Try and interrupt him. Nice. Hey, dear, can you pull this in? Thank you. Maybe some extra defenses. I need something stronger. Okay, that did that did a good amount of damage. We'll take it. Who's gonna tank this ogre? Did some more damage. Okay, we got something else coming up. Dude, my hands after like uh that uh nightcap. What was it like 13 hours or something? The first day of league were fucking killing me from all the freaking spamming and clicking and everything. Like it was, it was painful. Okay, we're gonna have to pull this ogre if we can. I don't know if we can. Oh, he's back out here. Okay, he's near it's death. Too difficult, I say. Takehu, uh, can, can come back over here and try and paralyze as much as we can. Yo, look at all this paralysis. Look at that soul ignition. All right. Um, does this affect friendlies? It does. We can put it over here. Let's try that. Uh, Seraphin. Can you shoot this vampire? You can try. What can I do you for? Conic projections. What do you need? I can from typing to save your physical health. Yeah, like that's the whole debate, right? About it, it's it's like you really should have have the option to be able to press uh, all your flask at once. It would save a lot of trouble. Oh, come here, Dargle. Group up. We're gonna drop some AOE once we like. Figure out what we're doing with all these guys. Hmm? Immune mist. You have no, this I cannot do. Feel like I was being lied to by the game. 
Your story ends here. Wow, just miss, miss. What can I do you for? All right, we can try and daze everything. Yeah, that order's too tall. I need something stronger. Shit. I, I for, didn't realize the dark old was going to be blocking that. This ogre's almost dead, which is good. Ooh, that's 32. Okay, dazed a lot of them. Yeah, they allow like train macros, logout macros, um, copy paste macros, things like that. But then uh, using a popsicle stick to uh, to press all your your uh, po your potions at once is uh, is pushing the line. I'll be cleaving it to the brisket. The game's just getting too big for uh, the gray areas, isn't it? And and the uh, <laughs> the preferential treatment, but I get it. I get it. Yes. Ha! It's beyond me. And that might hit something. We're too far away, though. Uh, can we come up here? If this can hit. Like, this could definitely hit a lot of them. Okay. Blood magic one more time. Console hots. I want to believe. I want to believe this will hit. Something. Shit like log out and hide out from a macro is like 10 actions from one key press. What's that? Um, well, I mean, you can just type. No, it's not though, right? Because as soon as you log in the game, you can type in hide out and log out, right? So it's, it's one action. For the, for the server side is how they're counting it. You ask too much. I doubt this will hit, but like, let's throw it down. What can I do Maybe we'll for? get some blinds. Uh, let's get another iconic projection. No, 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 no. Let's get a, a knockdown. Maybe. We gotta kill this Dargle. There's just so many of them. Yeah, that order is too tall. Leave it to me. I need something stronger. Ogre's so close. Okay, you're gonna need to heal a deer. Ooh, ooh. Blinded a few of them. Okay. Uh, Seraphin. Take the damage there. Nice, he died. How many of these mobs are in here? So many. So many. No can do. Shodi. Get a heal on him. It makes no difference. Takehu. Paralyze. Paralyze the revenant, that's it. We have another vampire in here. Hmm. Yes. It's beyond me. All right, we'll get some bounding bolts. Why not? Eighty-nine percent. Sure. Ouch. That actually did a fuck ton of damage. Nice. We got another ogre down. Captain. Seraphin. Uh, actually, just fire this dargle. Damn. I was hoping that would have hit. We delete the shadows from the DX11. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh? Um What can we even do to help him out? I don't know. Uh, 
Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, he's not dead. Happy to oblige. Shodi, get that damage back up. Work. Too difficult, I say. Oh, oh. Not quite. Yeah. A deer, second wind. Sorry, friend. We gotta knock yeah. this guy down for a turn, maybe. Seraphin, you're gonna have to come up and like get this terrified off on everybody. Actually, that's gonna do a bunch of damage. Come up here. What do you need? Nightcap. Can you can you like knock it through? Seraphin, why can't we move you anywhere? Game. What for, Cap? Bye. Not gonna let him through, is it? Oh, okay, we got it there. Me too, man. Second try, I say. A couple of them are near death. One did die. I think we got this. Soul shot, come on, come on. Raised, it got another one dead. You ask too much. Okay, okay, we're getting there. For mother and Gachi. This guy's almost dead. Oh. Take this. Let us end this. Nine. Hmm, close. Yeah. No. -uh. Oh my gosh. This guy's like 15 HP oh, left. Wheelhouse, oh, hello, Coco. Hi. Come here, Coco. Coco. Come here. Hi. You like to say hi? Okay. Hey, Coco. What's going on? What's going on? You want to say hi to everybody? You can't even see her. She just blends in with the background. Hello. Hello. Oh, hi, Buzz. Hi, baby. Buzz, you want up? Okay. Coco wants down. Buzz wants up. All right. Hi, Buzz. What's going on? What? What? Up here. Come on. Oh, you see Coco? Coco, what are you doing? All right, you want down? Okay. They just want to come say hi, apparently. <laughs> uh, we're getting a third, actually, uh, in like two weeks as well. A third little Maltese Foodle. So, I think I can pull that off. Uh, all right, what can we hit here? Anything low? This one's near death. May I be a candle in the night? 20's good. I pull it off. They're just coming to say hi and running around. You're good, Balter. It's always good to let out some frustration. And it's got to be difficult to run a company of that size now with a game that's gone as big as it has. But I, I think there should be some consistency for sure. Happy to oblige. Oh my gosh. Can somebody please just kill this guy? Thank you. Thank you. Speak your mind. This I cannot do. Oh my god, look at that paralyze. That is what you want to see. Dude, we're gonna get this this group down. Okay. Uh healthy near death. You can't even hit a guy standing right there with your sword. Yeah. This one's near death. We're gonna try the console hots again. Even though it doesn't look like it's gonna hit anything. Uh, Takehu. Decent damage. We're not bringing politics into into the channel today. Not today. What do you need? We're keeping it lighthearted, hearted and fresh. Uh, Seraphin, we could actually drop this on a deer. 
or have it reflect onto ourselves because you know wild magic I'm not, I'm not throwing bands out I think that's beyond me smart stone it Oh, I think I don't think most. I feel like a lot of the vocal community though isn't very happy with, with a, how they're handling a lot of things. Mainly, being the auction house though, right? Um, you have my. You ask too much. And stuff like that. I think they definitely have room to improve. They're getting a lot done with each, with, with each expansion, but there's definitely room to improve. And we're talking about Path of Exile for those who are wondering. With all the rantings about. Okay, why why are they breaking engagement with a deer? Shit, sorry, I hit my mic. Oh, a deer is. Hey, that wasn't half bad. He's charmed. Shady. Hold on, lass. Yes. It's well, beyond. it looks like we're resting after this. This is not not what you want to see. Leave my guys alone. Not quite. Oh, that ain't not my thing, Savvy. Can we dominate him back, do you think? What is this target? Will? See you must me too. Did we just... We paralyzed the guy we're charming, of course. I think I've completed like 10% of the game. Okay. It's We're going to be playing this for a while then. I'm cool with that. Oh, indeed. Ooh. That was not good. Uh, Seraphin... Damn, if we have to redo this fight, holy crap. Holy crap, that's all I can say. Wow. Wow. I, I can't believe we're gonna have to like redo this fight because of a fucking charm. We've lost two people right now. Three. Holy shit, guys. Holy crap. It's beyond me. Forty-three percent. All right, give me some tentacles down. Hmm? Call your avatar fire. How much DPS? Uh, it's like one point eight million. Uh, DPS with when I have like both my weapons no equipped and my conk effect on. A solid amount. Oh my gosh. Wait, is there like someone else in here? I can't get through. Oh, they're still going around. 5.5 5 million with 6.5 k life. Holy shit. Sword and shield on. We're gonna have to like redo this fight. Unless these guys somehow pull it together. Now that order's too tall. Hmm? Huh. Wow. Wow. I really thought thought I could do this. Yes. Just like that. There's 31. Okay, so that one's near death. Going back towards a deer, which is kind of good for us. Using drain essence, though. Oh my god. Now that order's too tall. Oh, fuck these misses, man. Wow, so many misses. 
One, two. Oh, it's beyond me. So good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm? Well, we ch oh, charm's going off? Okay, charm gaze hits a deer, but a deer's immune. Hey, we had some good times. Yep, we're gonna have to redo this fight. We can do it, it's just yeah. like... Just like that. Holy crap. All right, yeah. I wanna do this differently though. Um, I'm on it. We gotta save some some more spells. Double percent pen, thorn rapier, and a hatred crit. Watch his eye. Oh my god! If I had to watch his eye, I have no much damage. No idea how much damage it would do. Um. All right, here's what we do. We're gonna come at it this way. There's a doggle here. Hopefully they'll come around this way for us. It's beyond me. Just some basic attacks to start it off. Uh, in fact, Zodi, actually, just get the awareness up for everybody. You have my attention. Takehu, where are you? You're over here. Come here. There's another one getting into combat range. This I cannot do. Hit him with that lightning. Suck. Free. Yeah. A deer, come here. I'm on it. You accidentally closed POV. That's not good. Hey, watch it with that. <laughs> Captain. All right, Seraphin. Night, Captain. Shoot from a range from now. It took me like 55 hours uh, to, to beat POE 1. I'd say. Dude, a deer's already like, taking some hits, man. Show me where to bite. Hmm? I fear not. Finish them. Yeah. Yeah. Should you go to your crossbow? We have a lot of people coming by. We need to get them all grouped up and then just unload on the AOEs. Hmm? Sorry, friend. Okay, a hundred percenting POE one though is is not difficult, right? Padinsky, like all this, like you're you're gonna want to do the White Marsh. A hundred percent, do both of those storylines. You're gonna want to do the endless uh, dungeon, all right? But those, all those three of those things aren't needed to go for completion. But they're all more enjoyable than even the final fight, and a huge part of the game, and have great stories. Like I highly recommend it. No, you're not gonna go triple count solo, right? But like you're gonna, you still can do so much content. Like you can probably rush the boss in in under ten hours, honestly, the final boss. But, there, but most of the content in PoE 1 is from stuff uh, you're going. Yeah, I did the dragons, the bounties, and I think I got the archmages. Um, uh, there was the one that with like behind the little office thing. Um, gosh, when did I last play that? It was like a year and a half ago. I'm trying to remember. Oh, God. Oh... Uh, Langrath. I mean, the names. I'll have to look it up. The names aren't gonna aren't gonna speak out uh, to me. I don't think. I did console hot. I know that name. I know we killed the console hot. Okay, who's this one? You're you're saying Lingrath? How does the turn base com turn base combat feel? It feels uh pretty good. Uh, it's much slower, and oh yeah, I did I did Lingrath as well. Yeah, so I, so I I did that one in the Forgotten Sanctum. 
Oh, yeah. Um, Merwald. Gosh, names suck. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, the turn-based combat feels good. It feels slower. Um, there's some things to flesh out with it for sure, like things with attack speed, and there's just a huge reliance on perception right now, which I did not build into my character uh, upon starting. Um, and... But, like, I'm really enjoying it. I couldn't really get into this game with the real-time pause when it first came out. But now that I've been playing with the, uh, the turn base for a while, like a few days, I I'm loving it. Hmm. <laughs> Drop a fireball on those three. Come on. Come on. Get a little closer. I should do some damage. We're having to redo this fight, uh, cause we got so close to finishing it and then uh, a deer got mind controlled and it kind of just went downhill really quick from there. Uh, and that's one of the things with turn base, it's like encounters take a lot of time. So like failing a fight and having to reload uh, just certainly adds quite a bit of time to the play. So this is the Death Guard fanatic. We gotta pull him closer if we can. That fireball did a wonderful amount of damage. We're doing a lot better this time already. Oh, where are you going, Ogre? Ouch. That was unnecessary. Dude, maybe we want to switch out Grimoras for this fight. If we fail it again, get Pull of Aora to group everything together. Something to consider. And they're leaving, like a leaving a deer behind. All right. Um. Fifty-two percent. Fifty-eight. 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 I don't like any of those. 78, 78. Uh, that might be worth doing there. Happy to oblige. Um. Four more rounds no with the perception do. bonus, so we're okay there. Uh, let's take a crossbow to that guy. Ten isn't bad. You need something. Nice. Okay, so we killed the ogre. That one's near death. This one's bloodied. Uh, Takehu, let's just turn into a shark. For now, to work on these guys. Hmm? Sorry, uh, friend. A deer, okay. come up here. Solid 19, almost a kill. Captain. Uh, Seraphin. Oh, a solid 36. I really thought we could get the kill there. So it looks like we just have this one Dargle up here that we'll have to deal with. Oh, and now we got a Vampire. Knocking a few of us prone. Yes, it's beyond me. Okay. Um. Hmm. Shadow Leap, one round. I don't know what that does. It means he's like not targetable, it looks like, from spells. Um. Take this. Get some bounding bolts out. Go for a couple of the kills. Uh. Shodi, let's get a circle of protection down. Be yours to command, Captain. Takehu. We get some healing. Hmm. It's this I cannot do. Apparently, that did nothing for us. All right, Peninsky, I'll catch you later, buddy. Hmm? Thanks for hanging out today, as Breath. always. Okay, that was a good kill. So we got a bunch of things in our back line over here. We got to deal with. Good kill. Captain. Uh, 
Eh, not my thing, Sammy. Can we dominate this guy? He only has 66. We can't even target him. We can dominate this Dargle, though. Alright, Nutmeg. Have a good day, buddy. And thank you for hanging out as well today. I definitely will be back uh, tomorrow. I'll probably be early again, like 10 a.m. East Coast. Uh, and we'll be playing this for sure tomorrow as well. Pretty much every day until we finish it. Ouch. Out my wheelhouse, friends. That hurt quite a bit. Uh, Shody's up next, so that's good. They interrupted our mind control, though. Watch me work. Happy to oblige. All right, Shody. Um. Turn on a healing circle. Hmm. Wow. They are really, really trying to fuck on Seraphin. Um, I should have seen if he was close enough. That was a little bit of a mistake. Uh, blood magic. Some more bouncing bolts, maybe. Um, Adir, can you come up here? And maybe pull... The fanatic closer. I think I can pull that off. And then maybe knock down the vampire. Yeah. Nope. Asking for too much. Yeah, that did a solid amount of damage. Bloodied healthy. This vampire we're gonna have to deal with. He's doing a lot of damage in our back line. Now we have so many things up here as well. One more vamp here. Oh, I'd be a rare yeah. tick from You're alive. You're alive, which is important. Too much. Um, we need another song. Come Your up here. here. Oh my god, 42 damage. He's still mm -hmm. healthy. Just crazy. 57%, 75%. <laughs> Alright, um... Shody, we're going to use that. That did 50 damage to both of them. That's insane. Kind of stuck over here. Seraphin is just getting murked on right now. Okay, we killed one. This vampire is hurt. Uh, let's throw up some extra defenses. Man, I guess we should focus on the Dargle for the moment. Uh, anything... Oh, we can terrify these guys, maybe. Like, that might land, right? 71? I can work with that. Assuming they don't interrupt him. Okay, Silent Scream. Come on. Come on, stun. One stun. I'll take it. Better than nothing. Um... Ask too much. Hmm. We really need to take down this vampire. Because he's in our back line, just causing damage. That need to hit. Um. Cannot turn him into a pig. Why not? What does he have? It's beyond me. 62% to hit with concussive missiles. Uh All right, let's do it. What can I do you for? Shody, go back to your shield and scythe. Captain, out my wheelhouse, friend. I'll be cleaving it to the brisket. We might need to go back to his like blunder buses. So, well, especially with these groups, we should be. Uh, can we knock down? This guy? Nice. Missed. Did 11 damage. That's not enough. Hmm. 
And he doesn't have healing anymore for a few rounds. And this Dargle's deciding just, hey, fuck the close guy. We're going to the back line. Mm -hmm. I think that's beyond me. All right. Um, so this can hobble. It affects friendlies, though, as well, right? Yeah. We could put this, like, down here. Have to walk to that. Uh, we can do an Iconic Projection, actually. It's probably our best call. I fear not. Yep. Hit him with that. Your story ends here. Fourteen will take. Iconic projection goes off. Eleven twenty-three. Some healing. That was some decent damage. What for? Count my Shit, only sixteen. Uh, all right. Switch to the the blunder buses. Yeah. Adira, get your defenses back up. Leave it to me. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Oh, and now they're run they're all running back here. Yeah, this is gonna go This is this is a part of the problem, right? We're gonna we're not gonna be able to do jack shit. We gotta kill this shit back here. I mean console hots isn't gonna hit. Twenty seven is just not enough. Happy to no can do. Divine favor to an ally, imbuing them with resolute and tenacious, as well as engagement while the effect lasts. Just another iconic projection. Yes, Captain. And we can drop a blizzard. It's just, it's just not gonna hit. This is the problem, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a lot of fucking damage. Never you mind. That dog won't hunt. What do you say, friend? Definitely did some more damage though. Uh can we attack this Dargle? Twenty-three. <laughs> That's that was a lot. I mean, it spread us out a little bit, which could be helpful, but that was that was a lot of damage coming out. This does not work. Okay, that the vampire is back over much. here though. Um, Dargle and vamp another vampire up here. Fuck. Uh, might be able to petrify these. One of those. Okay, let's come up here. Let's go for the uh, petrify here. Or paralyze. Charm gaze going out. This is what fucked us over last time. Edir is immune. Thank goodness. It's beyond. Um, can't target him with that spell. Um, can I move over here maybe? Without getting hit by the engagement? It looks like it. Uh, blood sacrifice. I fear not. That's not going to hit. I mean, that's not going to hit either. But we'll try it. Yeah. What can I do you for? Shody. I think that's beyond me. Empower you yourself. Give me a freaking no. circle of protection. Seraphin. We get ignite on any of these things. Zero percent, forty-two, twenty, thirty-six, forty-two. Why so low? What do we have going on? Shroud of darkness. Out my wheelhouse, friend. See must me too, man. Grazes. I mean, I'll take it. No! 
Okay, Soul Shock did good. No can do. Try to give me a healing circle. Figured out the hard part of your Minecraft build? Nice. Alright, they're getting all back on the deer. Yes. Um Logical yeah. Blood Magic. I mean I gotta try the try the console hot. If it hits it'll be huge. Oh fucking hell. We gotta kill this guy. Yes, Captain. Okay, Takehu. Uh zero percent chance. Difficult, I say. Give me a moonbeam. Grace, two of them, or one of them hit one. Okay, not awful. Give you the play-by-play. -play. Well, the play-by-play -play is we're kind of getting overwhelmed and might have to redo this fight. Uh, currently, right now we're surrounded by revenant ogres, death guards, and vampires. Three vampires uh, and a dargle here and there, and and they're doing a, a quite a bit of damage to us. What for, Cap? Eh, not my thing, Savvy. Only takes a finger to blow her away. What the heck just happened? Oh, mother. So we got hit by Carnage. Oh my gosh, we're just so low right now. We need turns oh? to heal people up. Uh, Illogical can use some blood magic. Looks like we got a concussive missile. 57%. 75% on the Dargle. Uh, 58, 57, 60, 62 on a deer. 57. All right, we'll throw it at a 57 over on a vampire. Yeah, I think that's beyond me. Shodi, you have to heal yourself. Come on, Shodi, you got a melody in my head. So just gang banging her. A deer, man, I don't know if you're gonna get to go and heal yourself up. This I cannot do. What's that? Alright, we're gonna empower uh Takehu so we can get his frost orb out. This isn't gonna hit or do anything actually. Um Nature's Balm will heal people nearby. We need to get some healing actually on a deer. Four million shaver DPS with 7,100 life. Damn. I'm sorry, friend. Fuck, man. Can't. That hurt a fuck ton. A deer, use your last May stand. Candle in the night. Okay, we have a Dargle almost down. Ogre hits a deer for 29. Ahoy. Seraphin. You gotta use your second wind as well. Maybe attack this vampire. Not good enough on the damage. Now I have a hot on a deer. Vampire misses. All right, a logical blood magic up. Concussive missiles, maybe. I, we should probably work on. We need to get work on getting rid of enemies, more than anything. Um, thirty-two percent, fifty-four percent, ten percent. Can't target any of these guys. Transforms a single kith enemy. Amoa dwarf, elf, godlike, or Orlin. We could try console hots again. Doubt it hits. Gotta try it. Shodi. Happy to oblige. Shodi get a heal off on Takehu. Now they get to attack us a ton and we get to hope and pray. Damn, that drain essence is not good. May he post the basement? Yeah, when to go. Give him permission if he doesn't have it already. Too difficult, I say. Let's 
One paralyze. Couple of console lock grazes, which isn't bad. Stay behind me. Not a kill. Oh, I have my wheelhouse, friends. Seraphin. Oh my god. The misses are real. Captain. Only takes a finger to blow her away. Only takes a finger to blow her away. Cooked that up, didn't I? Oh man, Shoddy's getting wrecked. Everyone's getting wrecked. We're gonna we either need to back away from this fight oh, if if we can't do it. Or uh me. try it a different way. Maybe with a different grimoire. Happy to oblige. We're gonna withdraw Shodi. Keep her alive for a few turns. Wow, the Death Guards are fucking beating on us. Okay, Takehu, just if you can hit it with lines, that would be strong. Yeah. That, that did a decent amount of damage. May I be a candle in the night? There, there's another one down. Blinds missed everybody. Yes, I fear not. Extract all foes in the area. It's not gonna hit. All right, let's go for the guaranteed kill on this vampire. Nope. Twenty-eight damage. What can I do you for? You need some. This I cannot do. Takehu. Paralyze something. Oh my god, it all missed. Yeah, this is gonna be a, a done fight. Oh my god, somehow Adira is still alive. Oh, we did lose. Uh, Seraphin. Yes, it's beyond me. Very well. Ah, not quite. <laughs> yeah, this isn't gonna work. All right. Um. Hmm. I can leave notes on the map, right? We're gonna leave a note here, and we'll come back to it. It's just. Oh gosh, I don't know. Like, our party is feeling weak in a lot of areas. Right? And there's just so many freaking mobs. I don't know, like, respecting my main character alone can do anything to combat it. It's, it's, we, f oh, island name. Who wants an island? Um, it feels like <laughs> part of the issue is definitely, like, our screwed up stats for turn base to begin with. Baltertopia. Done. Alright. How do I how do I leave a note on the map? You must be sailing to recruit or dismiss party members. Um We did it before on accident. Just don't get hit, Mr. Streamer. I mean yeah, get, not getting hit would be nice. How do we do this? Edit spells. What the heck is that? Doesn't let me edit spells. I don't know what that means. Why would I call it? Because it, it sounds like a good name.
There's a way to make notes. But what was it? Like, it came up before when we were clicking things. Alright, we'll have to remember to come back to the Forgotten Catacombs. When we have a little more experience. Just getting a lot of trash there. Is this some water it looks like we didn't grab? Alright, um... Let's double check our ship, looks like we have some food, we got some beer. A little more water to add. Okay, uh, well, we can go to... Uh, we're trying to find this girl, Decilia. Commands the Voyager Alicio. South of Nectaka. So we want to come back over this way, maybe. Go around. Balter Opia. Balter, you just have to remind me to come back there to go do the Forgotten Catacombs at some point. Sail off the edge of the world. Maybe at some point. Deadfire Merchants. Cornu Biakara. I mean, I'm assuming... Yeah, these are just unaffiliated. Captain Thanik. We're looking for Decilia. You gotta remind me in like five days, Walter, a few days. Whoa, a plagued ship? On the horizon, a ship comes into view. Its sails furled. The ship lists upon the water. Plague ship. Rum dumb Regeer cries out from the fore, finger jabbing skyward, indicating a green flag billowing lazily in the on the, in the breeze on the ship's main mast. Beodul leans in close. We should be careful, Captain, or we'll catch whatever took hold of those poor souls. Still, Chutepic muses, there might be something worthwhile on board. The crew still glances at you to catch a hint of how you're inclined to proceed. Maybe we can help. If we can't cure them, we can at least th give them a merciful death. Even without a spyglass, you can SB a few living crew moving about above deck. Uh, all right, pull, pull, all right, pull alongside. The crew guides your ship next to the plague vessel. The deckhands and captains appear shocked and apprehensive. Hylas, mercy, the captain blurts out, his voice raspy. I didn't think anyone would come to our aid. The deckhand stands tall, but their unsteady posture betrays the sickness that seems to have affected them all. What are your people afflicted by? The swabby's hack, the captain says ruefully. It's not killed anyone, Remgard look away, but it saps our strength and has quickly spread throughout the crew. Um, board and loot the ship. Call forth the sickest sailor from your crew. We will bring them aboard and examine them and provide suitable remedies. What? Sager cries out. No one else in the crew says anything loudly enough to decipher, but their mumbling suggests they're unhappy about bringing a sick crew member aboard. As your sailors shuffle from the plague ship to yours, the crew clears a broad path. Some make warning signs or mutter prayers to Rimgrand while the sick man passes. Can't thank you enough, the captain says. Without your help, who knows how long we would have been here. He offers you a small box. Take this, please. A token of my appreciation. Thank you. After a short period of examination, the sick sailor returns to his ship with enough remedies to treat the rest of their crew. Weary but hopeful, they wave goodbye as your ship continues on their way. Boots of stability. Five fortitude. Oh my gosh. Okay. As your main sail goes up and you head into open water, Chipputek lets out a raspy cough and looks around nervously. The rest of the crew grits their teeth and mutters curses. It appears the sickness has spread to your ship. Oh, That's not great. Alright, who needs some boots? We all kind of need boots. Uh, We're going to give her a leap so she can like... Just get around the battlefield quickly. So we still haven't seen Decilia and the Alicio. This is what we're looking for. I don't think it would be this far south. 
though, right? Do the Forgotten Catacombs. <laughs> oh. We need to, like, level up a bit first, I think. Or maybe, I don't know, get some gear. Just a little bit more of an edge. Sickness racks your crew. The illness starts slow. A cough here, the shakes there. But then it hits the crew hard and fast, washing across the deck like a rogue wave. Within a day, not a single member of the crew can breathe easily. Enough coughs that their throat their throats raw, spitting bloody gobs of phlegm into the sea. Eld and Grim finds you in your cabin. Through the open window, you can make out the sound of one of your sailors retching violently. This keeps up, Cab. Your crew will be in no state to sail. They hardly are as is. Care to tell me why everyone is on my boat is sick, Beodol? Beodol coughs violently and spits. It's the Swabby's hack, Captain. I suspect we caught it from that plague ship. It's not likely to kill anyone, but it can leave Kith weak and prone to accident. What would you have me do? Beodol drags a cupped hand across his mouth. Best thing to do would be to medicate. Hopefully you've got enough stores to treat everyone. Break out the medical stores. Everyone gets what they need until this clears up. Under Beodol's direction, the hands open up the packages of aromatic herbs and mash the leaves up with pestle and mortar. Soon, each member of the crew wears a swathe of fragrant paste slathed across their chest. With the correct remedy applied, the crew quickly recovers. Soon, they're on deck belting shanties towards the horizon. You sail on. So we got a net positive morale out of that. Uh, Alright, we're just going to head over to Fort Deadlight. We'll come down this way and do it. We do have an invitation to go there, and we do have a few candied nuts. Didn't really need those repair supplies, but we got them. Oh yeah, there's like this, this coral reef right here we gotta go around. There's another island down here with a a port. Oh, and a rice farm that will welcome trade. Uh, 50% discount on items. Oh my gosh. Finally, we can sell everything we've just been holding on to. We'll keep all the fine weapons. In case we ever feel a need for them. We'll keep the grimoires. Actually, we don't need these all the grimoires. They're all the same. Alright, fireballs, cloak of death, meteor shower, bedded carcass, wait. Yeah, these are all the same. We'll keep this one though. This is a little different. <laughs> what is this? Is this light armor? Okay, get rid of those. Forty six hundred coin of just stuff. You've got rid of your headache. Oh no, you have heartburn. <laughs> well, that's not ideal. Better than a stroke, though. So you're saying we can trade with these these merchant ships? What do they have? Anything good? Um, we have no medicine. No, 19 medicine is what we need. Thief's putty. We'll buy it. That'll be fine. Baking soda? Um, isn't there some areas in the Ingwithian dig site we didn't go into either? We may want to head back over there and check it out. Check out the shipwreck. BTB getting gas. Now go to the shipwreck. Alright. 
Hammer and Chisel. Guana Colors. Imperial Long Gun. Okay. 300 to 600 meters. Six turn. A Dragon Pendant. Grants Breath of Flames once per rest. Use a cone of flames and burn damage to anyone in the area. Call the Clutch. Calls Worms and a Drake to your aid, summoning them into battle. One burn armor rating, one slash armor rating. I think everyone has an amulet. Gives constitution. Gives constitution intellect. Gives intellect. Bluff diplomacy. Alright, that's you get the new new one to call worms into battle. I'm cool with that. This is the Prince Shippy. Oh, they want to fight? To two pick points to a dark spot on the distant horizon. Captain, a vessel approaches. You squint to the horizon and see unfamiliar colors snapping in the breeze. Yo, we're going to take these guys on. Close to board. Give no quarter. Charge. The crew mutters nervously as you give the order to charge. The Defiant will be exposed to raking fire and the risk of casualties. One to two crew. One to two crew? On second thought. Attempt retreat. Fall back. The enemy vessel recedes behind you until it finally disappears. Alright, one sec. Oh, okay. Should level your BV, dude. Dude, you can do it, I believe. Imposter's Lament. Amaria Whispers. Should we do this stuff while we're down here? Why not? Let's quick save. Just in case it's something bad. We gotta back out. A light fog curls about your ankles. Breathless, whispering voices call to you from the darkness. They cry in half-uttered sentences, in moans, gurgles, screams. What few words you can make out among the chorus beg for mercy, for an end to their pain. Wisp winds around your torso and uh, wi wisp wind around your torso and cling to your skin. The cries become shouts and the chorus screams. The fog thickens until you see nothing but its swirling ghostly shape. Dark forms appear in the fog. They encircle you one moment and disappear the next. Uh, ask Zoti to draw their spirits into her lantern. I think it's time for you lost lot to find the light. This way now. That's right. Okay, this is this is Shody, right? All right, Balter, have a good day, buddy. Get some, or a good night at least. Uh, get some rest. Ron Cackums, I'll remember. We'll probably have to go do them tomorrow. But thank you. I think it's time for you lost lot to find the light. This way now. That's right. Takehu grins and pats down a nest of his writhing hair. The dense fog swirls into Shody's lantern. You hear the faint tink of metal striking the ground. You bend down to examine it and discover a small necklace. The stone at the center sparkles with the red of a fire's dancing flame. Unhindered by the fog, you are now free to continue exploring the island. You have gained Elwyn's Locket. Ten accuracy against spirits, one intellect. The Impostor's Lament. Find an abandoned Dao half buried in the sand. Wind whistles through the gaping holes in its hole, making the sun bleached wood creak and moan. An open cargo crates lie scattered around the wreckage. Princhippy colors. Fire kelp. Nothing else. Is there anything else on this island? Hidden away by the fog of war. The Temple of Tangolia Ruins. Ahead of you lie the ruins of an ancient complex. As you near the tumbled down stone entrance, you notice several curious drawings scrawled across the stone in a flaking brown paint. You bend down to get a better look and discover that the drawings depict violent images of decapitations, dismemberings, hangings, and sultry other terrors. Light from the distant torches flickers on the ruined walls. Unintelligible words float to you on a breeze that reeks of carrion and the metallic tang of blood. All right. I can be quiet if you can. There's some stuff in here. 
stuff we are full of. We do need to figure out like how to do some more pirating stuff. That would be enough. Bat bubbles thick on the surface of this pot. The rising steam smells sweaty of meat. Whoa, whoa, look. Crazed Marauder. I shall make it so. Fine dagger, Ang Forest Journal. Three Inoton, 28027 AI. I have found this water stained notebook at the bottom of my satchel, and now, having no use for it, I must record my own thoughts, or I feel I will go mad in this solitary confinement of my own head. Months have passed, and we are still stranded on this cursed island. What few supplies we had with us at the time of our calamity have dwindled away to little more than dust and crumbs. When it became clear that we would be trapped on this island for some time, we began to ration our food. It was half rations at first, but as the days wore on and help became ever less a possibility and ever more a dream, we took only one meal a day, then one meal every two days. Fresh water at least is plentiful. It bubbles up from a crack in the snow near the ruins. No doubt it is pushed to the surface by some unforeseen force of volcanism. I should have liked to have had my instruments on hand to record its flow of, or its rate of flow and volume, but those are long since gone, likely resting at the bottom of the sea. Our numbers shrink day by cursed day. Always now my clothes smell of rancid meat, of sweat and smoke. The jerky we made from Carol's thigh has gone off. We had thought he might survive the amputation, but he passed away in the night two days ago from a fever in his blood. 16. Praetan 280... 2827 AI. We have better learned how to cure our meat, but our blades have gone dull, and we have only seawater which to cleanse them. None have survived an amputation since Carol's tragic passing, so we no longer bother with the practice. More is the pity. I was becoming an old hand at it. Eloise has lost us today. It pains me to write the words, though her passing comes as no surprise. She drew the shortest read. Her necklace I intend to keep, but it has gone missing since her death. I'd always thought it suited her, that the stone matched the light in her eyes. I wanted to remember that light. Perhaps someone is hiding it, though I do not know why they would do such an unkindness. I was meant to have it. She never, she never said as much, but I know. I will perform a search of the other belongings when I have the next midnight watch. Woe betide the thief. 13. Majutan, 2827 AI A chill wind has found us. It blows ceaseless across the aisle, whipping our shelters into disarray, and peppering our meals with sand. We take shelter in the nearby ruins, though I am loath to do it. Always that place has seemed to me befouled by some unfriendly spirit, for I hear whispers when the wind blows. They cry for mercy, for salvation. All right, Wendy, er, all right, Fidinsky, have a good day, buddy. I'll catch you later, maybe. Uh, I'll catch you tonight for sure. Another cr of the crew has disappeared this morning. Some suspect he tied stones to his wrist and walked himself into the sea. But they are wrong. I saw him walk while he was dreaming with jerky movements not his own. He wandered deep into the ruins and did not return. 20 Majatan, 2827 AI. So few of us remain, I envy them, the departed. Their souls are returned to the wheel and free to find new lives to live, lives to lead. We unlucky few receive no such boon, and that is what we, and that is what we have been given. Okay, hold up. And that is what we have given them, a gift. We suffer so they might be free. Arlandir says we might fashion a raft large enough to escape this place. He is mad. We belong to this isle now, as it belongs to us. As you like. All right. Lots of freaking reading going on. Trouble up ahead. Crazed warlock. Captain Angfor. Another guy. All right. Let's begin the combat. Okay. There's a few people here. Uh, so we're starting with the logical. Shodi, a logicals here. All right. Get out of stealth. Come up here. Uh, what are their defenses? They have a decent amount of fortitude. Well, one of them does. The warlock doesn't have very much fortitude at all, though. We're gonna start with a necrotic lance on him. Um, Shodi, let's get. We can get a pillar of fire on these guys, maybe. No, let's not start there. We'll start with uh, increasing everybody's hit chance. Uh, Takehu. This I cannot do. Why can't you do this, Takehu? There we go. Come here. Uh, that might blind them. We'll give it a shot. Uh, a deer. Come up here. Pull this one in. Missed. Okay, maybe one more try. That order 
Anger's too tall. May I be a candle in the night? Give Anger for a nice hit. So everyone's got some awareness. Cardiac Lance did hit. Makes no difference. Blinded two of them. Something just happened there. Warlock's gonna die next turn, maybe. Raise Pistolier. Alright, Seraphin. Can we kill the Crazed Warlock? Wonderful. This guy's really just going back to the back line, right? It's Crazy Marauder. Captain Angle 4 knocked a deer back. Okay. We have another Crazed Priest over here. All right. Let's try and take down the Crazed Priest as best we can. Uh, 58, 60, 68%. We'll try that. Speak your mind. Uh, Takehu. Might be able to... We could definitely petrify the, this chick. Or paralyze. Yeah. Happy to oblige. Uh, let's get out a freaking circle of defense. Hey. Crazy Lot's doing interdiction. Uh, a deer. Um, we can charge to him. Took off the leap. Okay, let's charge... Here. Sorry, friend. I can't. Stunning that one. That's fine. Interdiction's gonna go off. Is it interrupting? No one. Okay. Cardiac Lance hits. Seraphin. Uh. We're gonna get Soul Ignition on the Marauder, hopefully. Angle 4 is stunned. Okay, that hit. Wonderful. So the Marauder is hurt. Mm -hmm. Priest is near death. Um, let's hit that blood magic. And then we're just going to shoot the Priest. Wonderful. Priest is dead. What can I do you for? Alright, Shodi. Uh, let's get a Pillar of Fire on these guys. Seraphin. Solid 42. Uh, a deer, maybe knock down the poker pirate. Nope. Alright. That's ideal. It makes no difference. Uh Takehu. We can get a blizzard on all these guys. It's not gonna do a whole lot of damage. But it'll do something. No one noticed that, right? I actually did a decent amount. Okay. So, Crazy Marauder is, is pretty close to being killed, which is good. This does not work. Yeah. Not a whole lot. This I cannot do. Uh, but we might be able to. Paralyze. Two of them, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alright, what do we got left? We got a Pistolier over here. Uh, what about Console Hots? 62, 75, 54, 69, 56, 54. Just drop Console Hots there. What can I not sure I can? Shody, get a healing circle out. Yeah. Adir, we're going to try and knock this guy down again. He's paralyzed. That's why he didn't get knocked down. Okay. The pistolier is dashing up here. Hmm. 14's not not bad. We can work with that. Consulot's hit. Get to nightcap. Seraphin. Uh let's get a freaking ignite soul on the pistolier. Yes. 42. Wonderful. All right, illogical. Um, 
94, 84. We'll do some bounding missiles off Captain Ng4. Seraphin, you want to kill this one? Nope. Yeah. All right, Shodi. Do a hit. That's fine. You need something. Uh. Kehu, can you maybe kill the pistolier? It was a big ask. I'm aware, but would have been nice. Sorry, friend. Twenty nine's fine. That's not it. That did. Or we wrecked that captain. Holy shit! Pistolier is dead. Happy to oblige. Now we're just on the ogre pirate. Yes. Yours to command, Captain. Yeah. Try to knock him down again. Wonderful. Concussive missiles going off. What for, Cap? Solid what amount of damage. Heals himself for a little bit. We should be able to, to still take him down fairly easily. At your serve. You ask too much. Hey. Come on, a deer. Do a little bit of damage. Two. All right. That was a little bit. Took it literally, it seems. That only did ten. Fourteen. Wow. What can I do? Think that's beyond me. Uh. All right. Just swinging a hit. That's fine. Oh. Get the direct damage. Only twelve. Be yours to command, Captain. Paralyze is good. What do you need? I don't think I can pull that off. Twenty-six is good. All right, let's get the soul ignite off. Thirty-nine percent chance. Miss. That was to be expected, kind of. Didn't work. What for, Cap? Out my wheelhouse, friend. Oh. I mean, we're not gonna lose to this guy. It's just gonna be slower than I would have liked. You need something. There we go. There we go. Oh. Something I can do. All right. Hmm? Uh, forbidden flesh pie. Ooh, ooh. Corpse eater only. I should. So. Blood soaked grimoire. Consulate training touch. Curse of siphon. Fused with vitality. Bounding missiles. Dimensional shift. Hmm. It's a nice little grimoire. Uh, okay. Shodi wants to talk to us, so we'll do that in a second. Let's talk to Gyordo Red Hand first. You find a middle-aged dwarf tied to a post, a pile of bloody refuse scattered at his feet. His beard is a matted mess, and his face is streaked with dirt. Despite, despite his haggard state, he twists against his bonds while you approach. Lear Sean Nickers, you're just in time. Another moment more and I would have been dinner. What happened here? It's a right sorry tale, I'm afraid to say. Our ship, a beautiful ship she was too, ran aground in a storm. Waves so high we couldn't see a damn thing, you understand? Come to discover this here island's about as barren as an ancient lecher's bed. Not a scrap of nothing edible on it. And none of us were especially keen to take our turn about a wheel, so... He trails off, unable to meet your eye. As the months wore on and no one came looking for us, we started running low on crew and, uh, victuals. I think while few of us were left here at the end, might have gone a little nutty. Who are you? Jordu, red-handed of the Impostor's Lament. Well, formerly of the Impostor's Lament. He laughs a little too loudly. Something of a lifelong deckhand I am. Picked up cooking in the last few months, too. Meets my speciality on account of the, well, you know, the business here with the cannibalism. <sighs> my wrist, thank you mightily. He takes a moment to flex and bend his hands, working his, the circulation back into them. His lips twist into a grimace when he runs his fingers over the deep bruises on the ropes left. Say, you got a ship? Couldn't get here without one, right? 
You by chance have any spots open for an old dwarf like me? I might not look it, but I'm a deft hand with a rigging. Can even cook some. Welcome to the crew of the Defiance. I owe you one, Captain. A debt like this, I'm not sure I'll ever be able to repay you. You like stew? I got a great recipe. Flavor's real different, like nothing you ever tasted. I'll make it for you. You know, and thanks. He gives you a quick wink and a nod before heading back to the ship. Giordu Red Handed is now available to crew your ship. All right, nifty. As you like, what have we here? What is this? Fire kelp, okay. Kith meat. Yeah, we don't want any of that. All right, let's talk to Shodi real quick. Adrift in a walking dream, or waking dream, Shodi sways on her feet, sweating, muscles quivering. She whimpers low in her throat. Well, jostle her out of it. Shodi groans, slow to ruse. At first, she hunches in on herself, but then the tension eases from her muscles, and she stands straighter. Confused, her eyes study your face. I reckon that's the first time I ever bore witness to my own demise. It was not pretty. She worries her bottom lip with her teeth. Never woke with such a driving need for reaping before. It's making my hands shake. Endure it. We need all the presage we can get, whatever your visions can offer us. Oh, I plan to. Gon chose me as a harbinger for the coming harvest. Not anyone else here, but me. Takehu pinches his lower lip and smiles. Seems the more souls I gather, the better I see Gon's will. And the less I get a wink of sleep. Your nightmares are getting worse? Night or day, sleep or waking. It's getting harder to tell what's real from what's just yet to come. There is something I'm meant to do, though, once I gather enough souls. Takehu's lips curve in an approving smirk. Us Gaunites, we're supposed to shepherd lost souls, not just gather them. The harvesting's only the first part. If I were to dump the souls, it might make me dream less, like before. Or, darn it, who knows? Maybe it'd just make it all worse. Either way, I've got to find my purpose. She turns her face away, bottom lip trembling. Slowly, her fingers reach for the hem of your shirt. She rubs the pads of her fingers over it, holding to you in the lightest touches. Takeu grins and pats down the nest of his writhing hair. Will you help me, Watcher? Touch the corner of her mouth. I'd do anything for you, Shodi. Her happiness warms her whole face as a bright blush prickles over her skin. I was hoping you might would. Sometimes I feel like, with you by my side, I can stand against gods. Takeu rocks back on his heels, nodding to himself. Hands on his hips, Seraphin grins. We'll find you an Audra vein and release your burden. Best way to ensure the souls reach the beyond. It'll need to be a potent source to overpower the draw of my lantern. It's gotta be luminous for sure. She nods, clearly devising a plan of action. That's one problem solved. But what about the itty bitty issue regarding the god of rebirth not actually being in hell? The souls will make it safely, but who's to see to their proper reseeding? This is a huge risk of Aeora's balance. You really trust Maugrin not to rebirth Aethasians as warriors of the flame? Think Galloway won't be greedy? Gone aside, the gods' past actions don't instill me with the greatest confidence. What else would you propose? Normally, I'd simply safe keep them until the god of rebirth could return to hell. But you're right. I ought to deliver as many souls to hell as I can before it's too late. We need to empty my lantern right away. Gods, but you're clever. This is why Gon directed me into your path. I just know it. Adoration filling her eyes, she grins as you at you before turning away. Alright. We're getting all the all the lovely chat with Shodi done. I shall make it so. Alright, I think we're done in here. It certainly looks like it. Yeah, we're out of here. Whew. It's been a lot of talking today. Like, holy crap, there's a lot of reading in this game. Island name. Windigo, you want an island? 
Wendigo's Savory Delights. Done. Dude, it's Wendigo's Savory Delights. Look at it. It's 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 wonderful. It's not that a lot, by the way. What do you mean? The reading? Like when you're reading everything out loud, it's a freaking. It ends up just like being a lot. Ale. Oh, okay. This Prince Shippy ship wants to fight. Okay, Vassal approaches. Hmm. Give no quarter charge. One to two crew, five to fifteen sails. We'll we'll do it. Planescape torments. Okay. Well, I'm not playing Planescape torments. I'm playing this. And compared to uh, like Path of Exile and another like XCOM, where there's like no reading, it's a lot of reading. We're gonna do it. Your ship chews through the water, barreling down on the back of waves and surging up the face. Sea spray drenches the main deck. With a deafening crunch, the Defiant and the River collide, sending shards of wood and enemy sailors flying. One crew damage. So we lost somebody. Should I not do that? Should I do it? Um, by just approaching? I'm going to go load the save. We're going to do it differently. I think I'd rather like try to, to do the combat. Well, actually, we'll see. Can I see who we lost? Oh, he's just injured. Okay, they don't die, right? They just get injured. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Alright, Illogical gets to go first, and then the Prince Shippy Sailors. Mm. They do die. I shall. So who did I lose? Oh, sometimes? Okay. It's beyond me. Hmm. Well, for the moment, we're okay. We're going to drop that there and see what happens. They are just missing everything, and they are staying back. Going to let frickin' uh my dude get up in there what can i do you for shody come up here i want to drop some brambles on me. everybody they're just all missing i love it 22 i can take a hit My attention too difficult, I say. Takehu, you want to drop some frost on all these guys as well? Come here. Wow, that guy got like all the way up there. Death take you. Seventeen, we can take. Hey, All right, can pull that off. a deer. Can you like charge to this one? Nice. Charge was a good call. All right, malignant cloud. Doing some damage, hobbling everything, blinding them all. Can we soul ignite this guy? Yes, we can.
Um, is he just stuck? Okay. They just get healed from something? What they get healed from? Rapid recovery for five rounds. Soul ignition missed. Do a fireball at everybody. Oh man. Wicked Briars killed three people. Show do you want to do a pillar of fire on these guys back over here? Makes no difference. Too difficult, I said. Uh, Takehu. We'll try and uh, paralyze a few of those. Okay, two out of four is not bad. Uh, can we fire at the rogue? Solid 30. Alright, Aloth. Oh, that was a solid 25. Uh, a deer. You want to pull this guy back? No, it missed. All right. Hey. Kill another one. Five. <laughs> Cast not followed by axe nor broken storm of the sea. Quite a bit of damage. Oh yeah, we got Ishiza, our parrot. I love that our parrot's in combat with us. I think that's hysterical. And did a solid 17. Alright. Console hots, maybe? Yeah, that might hit. What can I do you for? Um Yeah, give me a circle of protection. It makes no difference. Near death to Kehu. Too much. Blizzard, uh, yeah, that'll hit and do some damage. Let's focus on these guys all here. Ouch. Yeah. Damn, not great. I don't think I can pull that off. Here we go. Can't make a dent. Okay, we got another kill at least. What for, Cap? Seraphin, maybe kill the fighter. Solid. What is this called? Azilla Wave Skipper. What can I do you for? I think that's beyond me. Solid nineteen. You need something. Um Yeah, we're gonna try and paralyze. Wonderful. Oh, it's beyond me. Let's keep trying to do a little bit of damage to this guy. We got this fight locked down. Nah, too slow. Pelagina with the twenty eight. That's hot. Hmm? Alright, Adir, can you charge this guy? Take that. Dope. Die. Only takes a finger to blow her away. Damn, a miss. Captain. But do you get to go again, Seraphin? 29 solid 
Is Shiza's gonna get the kill? Nope. Close. Alright, Shodi. Yeah. Get thrashed. A miss. Yeah. A deer. Pull that off. A deer, come here. Pull this one down. Or kill him. Hey. That works for that me. Wasn't half bad. Uh, a logical, just out of range for the necrotic lance. Yes. Oh my God, Aloth, you fool! That guy's not gonna be alive long enough. What say? All right, Takehu, come up here. Become a shark. Nothing too difficult, I say. Sixteen's not bad. Nice. Dude, I just love the shark. It's so good. It's not that, like that strong, but but the fact that you can become a shark, I just love. At your service. You ask too much. Me does decent melee. Alright, morale gained 8, Giordu red-handed suffered deep laceration, 606 experience, 2 sailor experience, and we gained a rank. Exceptional greatsword. So we share the coins with the crew. I don't know why take all doesn't work. Oh, and why did I put it in our inventory? Potion of self attuned. Eight defense against body of attacks. Mind attacks. Dope. Yeah, I like the ship to ship combat. I like being a pirate. We need to get some repairs done. Um, princip shipping novice captain. I don't know if we can take him on right now. Yeah, we're gonna fall back. Oh, the ship bears down on us before we had a chance to flee. The crew of the Prince Shippy ship spring into action, racing for their stations. The enemy ship comes to an abrupt stop in the water. They've lost the wind. Full speed ahead. Enemy crews scurry to their stations in preparation for maneuvers. Um, sailors climb the rigging like spiders let loose the sails. They close by 75 meters. Full speed ahead. Wait, are we running away from them? Oh! Uh... Prepare to jibe. The crew rush to jibe the main sail and bring the Defiant around. Attempting to gain a win advantage. Full speed ahead. Turning a vessel the Principi size takes time. Full speed ahead. Enemy crews scurry to their stations in preparation for maneuvers. They come to a stop. We're gonna go full speed ahead. Some quick maneuvering, the Defiant secures the wind gauge before Prince Shippy's ship has a chance to come about and claim it for themselves. Leaps forward, 75 meters. They come to a stop. Full speed ahead. They've lost the wind. They fire cannons at us. They have three cannons they fired. Miss, miss, miss. Full speed ahead. Uh, the opposing crew is fleet of foot, turning the vessel at the Prince Shippy's size. Is, takes time. Ramming speed. With a deafening crunch, the Defiant and the Prince Shippy's ship collide, sending shards of wood and enemy sailors flying. Defiant rammed Prince Shippy for 13 damage, received 10 hull damage. 
With a rousing cry, your crew throw grappling hooks and boarding planks across the gap between the two ships. They stream onto the ship's deck, weapons at the ready. The stunned enemy crew rally and meet your sailors with a resounding boom of gunfire and cling of steel. Our ship is still okay. We're gonna kill these guys, get more loot. Ire, the pirate's life for me. This is better than Sea of Thieves, boys. Oh, that's a- can I take their ship? Dude, I want to take their ship. We'll speed up the actions a bit because it's going to take a while to get them all all going and into position, right? We shouldn't have much trouble fighting these guys. Too difficult, I okay, Takehu... I'm gonna drop some uh, some frost on everybody as well. Come a little closer, buddy. They're all gonna try and get in position up here. The fighter got over. Another fighter over. All right, Shodi, let's drop a beam of fire on these guys. All right, a deer. You want to charge this guy? I only stunned one of them. That's fine. Spot on. Malignant clouds doing work. That did work. work. That did a lot of work. This should do some damage. I want to slow it down just a little bit to really enjoy the fight. Nice, we killed one. Wow, they're really going for a uh, Terra fan. That did a solid amount of damage. Get some bounding bolts off on these guys. Need something stronger. That guy's killing himself. What's that? This I cannot do. Uh, Takehu, let's get a Paralyze off on as many as possible. Look at all the Paralyzes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Another one dead. Alright, Shodi. Let's get another freaking beam of fire down on everybody. Is that another one dead? There's another one about to die, hopefully. Two more dead. Easy. Easy fight. Oh, and here comes our parrot. I love our parrot. Dude, the fan of flames doing some damage. Even more damage. They're like all dead. This is this is the easiest fight we've had. I fear not. Let us end this. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot him with my bow. Happy yep. Alright, Shodi, come over here. Buff everybody up. Ah, uh, hobbled him. What's that? Like at this point, can I just like you say I won? What for, Cap? Now we just have to like wait for them to go Leave clean up. There's another one dead. We got down to the last one. What do you need? 
Alright, a deer come here. Charge him. Pellegrina missed. Dire blessing. Oh, the parrot. Go, parrot, go. Hey, I don't think I can pull that off. Yes. That was a solid amount of damage. What can I do you for? Uh, Shoda, you can just stay there. I don't really care. Easy. Ooh. All right. Morale gained ten. Logical gained a rank. Worthless idiot gained a rank. Take it all. Don't need to share the loot with the crew. They're they're super happy. They're at like 98 morale. Who is worthless idiot? He's that imp that we picked up in the city, right? Uh, he is our navigator. His name is a worthless idiot. Imp greedy primordial. With mother sharp rock, seasoned cook. Zorup, deadfire archipelago, religious and wilder. We have Kerriger, pale elf. The white that wins aesthetic. We also have Rum Dum Gear, Chitupek, Eld Ingram, Aldled, Irina, Oswald, and Jordu. Okay, that is an expert captain of the Principi. We need to get to Fort Deadlight. Yep, here it comes. Oh, here he comes. It's an unaffiliated trade ship, Valian Mills. Unknown locations. I don't want to search. How do I get rid of this? So we could go here. The Steel Preacher. A Fort Deadlights up here. He's the only Green Rider coming with a four star navigator? Well, and we're doing pretty good right now. All right, we made it to Fort Deadlight, um, but I think this is where I'm going to call it um, for today because I'm getting a bit tired. My eyes are watering and I need a shower and all that fun stuff. Uh, so we're going to save it here. And, oh, hold on. Apparently we have a cutscene real quick, so never mind. You're the captain of Aldi's invited to parley, ain't you? I'm to keep an eye out. He taps a finger beneath his one eye that isn't covered by a black patch. It's so I can provide you an escort when you arrive. Lead on. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure to show our honored guests sure, around. Sure, doobies, if you have one. Aye, it sure is. Mikey's playing CS. We can go raid Mikey after this. Let me get to a point where I can save it, though. Never mind. Okay. All right. We'll find someone to raid if you guys hang out for a second. You must be captain. Glad you could make it, Lovesome. The battle-hardened captain rubs the underside of her chin as she regards you pleasantly. Her miscolored eyes, one raven wing black, the other an icy blue, row up and down on your face. Like what you see. Alright, give me give me a moment. Let me finish up this, doobies, and we'll do that. A golden silhouette gleams from the scarred skin of her chest. When you notice it, she flips it to reveal the mark of her statue, status on the other side. The mark on this side, it means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. She grins. Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate, which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. You killed my fourth chair, and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed, but a part of me wants to flay the skin from your face. Understand, if you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. Despite the violence swirling about her words, she purses her lips, eager for your answer. I brought you some candy nuts. Well, candies won't make everything all right, but they're a good start. Makes me... A tad more amative. With a grin, she plucks the offering from your hands and pops a sugar nut on her tongue, savoring it thoughtfully. Um. Hmm. Show her the sewer lint? 
We had a dispute between pirates. So you settled it, as pirates do. Suppose I can't fault you for that. Still. Her lashes lower over her blue and black eyes, fanning like dark feathers atop her cheeks. You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? Uh, I'll take Benwith's seat on the council. Only so long as you're loyal to me, you will. But someone's got to fill his seat. Suppose you were to throw your weight behind mine. Aye, I think you're seeing the way of things. How we might come to a beneficial agreement. She winks her blue eye, flicking her suolent in the end of its chain. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'll admit. I really like you, Captain. You got guts. And not just smattered in your hair. I'd like to make you a deal. Well, I was planning to offer you a deal, lovesome. A partnership between two right unstoppable captains. By which I'm referring to me and you. But it would seem you've gone and killed oh. Mad Marie. <laughs> She's not very My happy with me at all. Most loyal to me and a seat holder on the council. I do regret your choices. Namely because they make life difficult for me. She fingers the sul sulonet at her throat and sighs. Perhaps we can still work something out in the future. I? I know you've met with Ferrante. That you may even be working for him. That pribbling cock rot. With a flick of her fingers, the captain swipes a goblet of godkiller rum off of her desk. She takes a long swig before pointing at you. But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just... Keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. Cross, your, cross your arms over your chest. Shh. No need to say anything, not yet. You just think on it next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you after you've done his bidding, given half the chance. She taps one temple, knowingly. When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. For what can I do, you lovesome? Um, farewell. Okay, we're going to save this here and go to the main menu. And I think we'll, we'll go, let me see, doobies, what you got here. Uh, we'll go say hi to someone. But thank you guys for hanging out today. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's been a blast. Uh, oh, she's playing PUBG. Eh, eh. Let me see who else I have online. Uh, do we'll go? We're gonna go freaking say hi to Stark. Uh, cause Stark is awesome and I like him. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. I hope you guys have had a, uh, a fun day. And I will be back tomorrow, probably about 10 a.m., and we'll continue some more Pillars of Eternity. Until then, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again.